I think we're live. <laughs> we never know. We never know. I see. Is it showing up on my phone yet? Yeah. Hey, look at you guys out there. Hello. Look at you. <laughs> look hey, at guys. you. All. I'm going to go all the way up to the very, very tippy top. Lisa. Lee, oh well, hello, Lisa. I hope you're here because it's well, it's actually 102. We're, we were just a few minutes, a few minutes late. Oh my gosh, who is the bid ender today? Kim, I didn't look at my calendar. Is it, is it you, Kim? Are you the bid ender today? Hi, Connie. Hi, Connie. 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 Hi, Karen. Miss Radford. Hi, Diane Husani. Hello, Miss Stephanie. I want to say hi to everybody. Hi, Kim. Kim's. Girl, have you scheduled your next live on Vamp yet? You know we're not going to give up on you. We're waiting, Kim's. We're not going to stop. I will. I will. You, you're going to hear me in your dreams at night, or maybe your nightmare. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Ah. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Thank you guys so much for being. It's Kim. Okay. Thank you, Karen. Hey, you know what? I don't know what I would do without my without our trusty moderators. We've got we've got Karen, we've got Enamor Amy, meow meow. We've got Bree, and we've got Kim. Where are you at? Where'd you go, Kim? Well, Kim. Oh, She's hi floating Val. Around there. She's floating around. Hi Val. Hi Val. It's so good to see you here today. I hope that you're doing okay. And hello <laughs> to Mackenzie as well. Hello. Hi, and Jay. Jay is another mod. Hi, Jay. Hope you're doing sure. good. Okay. Okay. I've got a couple announcements before we get into the sale. A couple announcements. Okay. One, immediately after this, well, not immediately, at five o'clock, at five o'clock today, I'm having a speed sale over on BAMP. Do you want to join me for a quickie? Come on, five o'clock. I'm going to see how many things that we can get through, how many lots that we can get through in 30 minutes, 15 seconds lots. We're going to, it's going to be <laughs> real quick. So come on over five o'clock Eastern over on virtual antique marketplace. It's going to be a lot of fun. I will stream it on YouTube as well, but in order for you to be able to buy anything, you're going to have to watch it on virtual antique marketplace.com. Also, Thursday, 1 p.m. Eastern over on Virtual Antique Marketplace. I'm having a buyer's choice sale. And just because <laughs> just because I like to be I like to be a glutton for punishment, I'm having four sales this week. And one o'clock on She's Friday. Oh I got a wedding to pay for, Michael. I know, honey. We know. We I know. know. It's stressing know. me out. Also, we know. Alex and I are having a sale Friday at 1 o'clock p.m over on my YouTube channel as well. So Chapter 2 Vintage Co. and I are going to be live together on Friday. Michael, take it away. When are you having a sale next after today? I will be having a sale tomorrow, Wednesday at 1 p.m. over on the Cult yeah. of Vintage. That is here, of course, on YouTube. And let me just tell you, go check out his Instagram. I've got bills to pay. He's got bills to pay. <laughs> Listen, He's bringing some amazing things. And you know he's doing it in the Michael fashion of, of color coordinating. We're all like. Today also. Today is I very know. spring and Eastery. Very spring. So Michael does a really good job at curating things. Not me. I'm just like, yeah, that, that's good. I'm like pulling things. Michael takes a lot of time, energy, and effort thoughtfully pulling things to make them a nice curated sale. So. Um, make sure that you go over and check him out, his pictures out on Instagram as well. So you can see, you know, what's going to be a little bit of a preview of tomorrow's sale. I'll be there. I'll be shipping tomorrow. So I'll be there hanging out too. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Okay. Uh, yeah. He always brings good stuff, Bobby. You wow. are not. You are not. I got, that's what I got puppies to feed. Yeah. He got little babies to feed. All right. Um. <laughs> so we will need some information from you. And first of all, welcome. We're glad that you're here. We're going to need your full name and shipping address and your PayPal email. You can email us that information. You can see right here underneath our faces. That is our email. It's also in the description. Go ahead and send that information now. 
If it's been a while, send it again. You know what? You could send it to us every single week and we will be mm -hmm. gracious for that because we would rather have your information 15 times than not have it at all. We also ask that you make your payment within 48 hours of receiving your invoice. Um, so that way you can keep coming to the sales and, you know, and we don't have to block you for not following <laughs> through with your payment. Cause that, that, that's what happens. That's what happens. Communicate with us if there's ever any issue, but please don't bid on something if you can't pay within the next 48 hours. I'm not trying to sound mean or hateful or anything, but that's, that's just the way we, we, we can't, we have to run our businesses that way. I'm going to be sending invoices out in the morning. Well, throughout the day tomorrow. And Michael will be sending his out tonight unless you email him and let him know that you want him to wait until after his sale tomorrow. And he's happy to do that, but you just got to let him know. You just got to let him know. Okay. That's right. I always forget to say that, Jay. I'm shipping from Indiana. Michael's shipping from Ohio. Shipping is calculated based on where you are from where we are, but we do make sure that we get you the cheapest shipping possible shipping it to you the safest way, but also the way that's going to save you the most money. So um, just we need it, but we need your information. Okay. I, did, was that everything? I think so. I think so too. Oh, just in cases. Everything is auction style. And during the countdown, we will be, you might see some people bidding with a JIC, which stands for just in case. And that is what your max amount, a dollar that you are willing to bid on that item. And you will win that item for $1 over the highest bid. Keep in mind that a just in case does turn into an actual bid if there is more than one. So please be aware of that. Um, and all bids are binding. That means you are... That's what you're going to pay for the item. All right. Um, yes, that's another good reminder too. Make sure that you are in all messages. That's a good reminder for me too, Karen, um, because I am not. All messages. There we go. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and get started, shall we, Michael? Okay. Oh, Julia, how do you get into all message? You look for that little wheel. It's I at the top of the chat. Device. It depends on what you're watching on. If you're watching on your phone, <laughs> It's different than watching on your computer. If you are interested in bidding on something, I recommend that you're watching on, that you're bidding using your mobile device, your phone, um, because you'll have a you'll have less of a lag that way. But if you just want to leisurely watch, usually I'll like watch a sale on my laptop so it's easier to chat. But then if I want to bid something, then I grab my phone and I'm, you know, on the ready. So that's just a good idea too. Okay. She got it. She yeah, got it. Of course you did, Julia. You're, the lag is real today. Oh, boy. It's going to be one of those kind of days today. Well, we're going to do the best that we can. All right. Let's get started. I'm going to make Michael big. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're going to start the first items. You get both oh. off at just $10. There is no choice. You are getting both of these. We're starting it at $10. Um, they are both floral enamel pins okay i do we'll start with this one which has more of a condition issue um the stem on it is loose i mean it's not super it's not like spinning around the flower or anything but i do want to let you know that there is a little wiggle to it okay Hi, when we flip it around we have got our green flower and stem so it's all one color do note that there is some dings to the enameling, okay? Oh, so there is some dings to the enameling on the green one. Second one, this one is stamped Coro. I don't know if we're going to be able to get, oh, we can kind of. Yeah. So Coro. we do have Coro stamped on the back. It is a Y-back pin. Okay. Note that it's kind of, this does spin. Now, it's not going to matter when you put it on or if you're using these in your flower brooch. Uh, display, check this one out. This one's in really good condition. So there is no dings to the enameling, but look at the little Aurora Borealis in there inside. I love it. So we do, well, I guess I should the say there are right the here on these two petals, there is some dings to the enameling. See it right there. So you are going to get both. There is no choice. I love these yeah. two together that is so 
mod, super it 60s is. on that color scheme right there. Love it, love it. So I just thought really good time of the year to have these bright saturated colors. We're thinking yeah. spring, even though it's like 30 degrees and super windy here. <laughs> like, oh. Well, I mean, you know, with um, a denim jacket, those would look those would look the really power, good. the power, the power, right? Um, so yeah, I mean, I don't know. Like they were like, we were watching something about the Oscars, and the gentleman, in fact, or one of this the things that a lot of gentlemen are doing now, they are wearing statement brooches on the yeah. red carpet. So I'm all for it. it's just a matter of time before it bleeds down into kind Ooh. of like general fashion. Yeah. So give them as a gift, wear them. I think they're bright, they're colorful. Uh, yes, there is a little bit of condition issue more so on the green, but I don't mind it. I don't think it's distracting from the piece, Trina, but Trina, these of course look great in a metal flower frog. So Trina said, thank I you just ladies. Put a brooch display on the edges of my bathroom curtains. Okay. Get I it. I like that. I think Ariana Listen, uses them on her curtains too. The only limitation is your imagination. It really truly is. Mm -hmm. All right, ladies. Thank you both for your bids. Tracy, Bobby, appreciate you. Again, this is going to be for both. Let's go ahead and do the countdown for you. So here we go. We'll do 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, whoops, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and a bid end. Yeah, on the lampshades too, Pat. Yep. I think it would these be are great. Like if you have a collection, you can just pop them in there for a little color contrast. It doesn't have to be like overly thought out, but I mean, put them in with your glass and your pottery, mix it in with your ephemera, your oh, Easter here. basket displays. Like, like they're just great little pops of color without taking up a lot of space. On your shower curtain, like at the very top where you're like your little hooks are, that would be cool to have. Like mm -hmm. if you have a white shower curtain to just have little pops of color and then you can change out the colors for the season that'd be pretty well thank you miss kim for being our bid ender and miss tanya lady 13 dollars. they're coming to you thank you nice all right this little guy i've actually had in my easter collection i just like stuff like this and he's i don't know what he like went to originally but i just i like this sort of thing so i'm gonna start him at eight dollars he is just a little wooden bunny on, he's got little wooden wheels. This side, he's double-sided. This side, you can see he's, you know, he's a little scratched up there on that side. I don't know what fit in here, but I just kind of had them all set up with like just all, a bunch of bunnies on a shelf for Easter. But he does wheel around really, really nice. But he's just like a little... Just a little wooden toy, a vintage wooden toy that you can pop on a shelf. Um, and I don't know. I just, I liked him. So I kept him around for a while. Girl, and my audio is janky. I will be okay. right back. Okay. okay. Um, this was, well, I don't know if that said Amy, but it's, well, someone wrote their initials on the bottom, which I like. It's in pencil, so you can erase it if you want. But I don't know what this went to, but I'm just kind of drawn to like just random things like this. So he would look really, really good with your Easter displays. I just think he's really, really cute. Um, and he is eight and a half inches tall, eight and a half inches tall. All right. I know these are my Elton John glasses. These are my Elton John glasses. All right. So Diane is in at $8 and I'm going to go ahead and start counting down. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12. If I had a card here, I might try that. Uh, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bid, end. He's a willy bun bun. I don't know. I just, I like to find little random pieces and just pop them on a shelf. I just think that he's fun. All right, Tanya is in at nine, and there is the bid end. Diane, I see your 10, but it's, sorry, Tanya, I just dropped your bunny. It's right after the bid end. So, Tanya, he is coming to you for $9. Thank you so very much. Watch out. She's on a roll. She's on a roll. Uh, uh, uh. All right, I'm going to start 
our next items off. It is an instant collection, okay? Instant collection. Now Got this it. is, we're gonna start it off at $12 if of course anybody is interested. This is a different kind of bright springy color, um, but you're gonna get this entire baggie, yep, you see it, of kind of little Southwestern, there's pottery, there's Lots figurines, there's wood, there is clay. Let's start. How about what we're just going to, you're going to get this all. So we've got this little ceramic straw hat, sombrero. We have got, this one is a little clay pot. All of this is very tiny. I mean, it fits Mark, into this zip lock. Michael, you got to sing the song about tiny things. It's your, it's your song. That you I make. need tiny Southwest treasures. Um, yeah. This one says studio mold on the back from 1995. I just, I love this. It's that bright. A it's a little mini colorful. cactus in it. That'd be this is a little wooden hand painted wood bowl. Okay. We've got, I don't know, we've got a little pot. This one, again, is wooden hand painted. We've got this one, wood with the little beads on it. Cute. How about a little clay? No, wait. This is the ceramic cow, or cow head because you would need one, right? Yeah. We've got a little wooden block guy here with this sombrero. These are like so 1990s. You know what I mean? It's like this quintessential 90s decor, Southwest decor. I love it. Wooden wolf mm -hmm. with his bandana on. We've got what i believe is this an adobe house i don't yep. know siesta siesta what else oh look at we've got a couple of these the little ladies there yep we've got oh gosh look at this one it's a little baby and his papoose oh look at, he's rolled up he's got a little feather detail we've got this is signed like VR. okay this is a little clay figurine. These would be great in your little printer shelves too. We've got another signed piece from DR. It is our Howling Wolf with bandana. Oh, I like that one. Our little wedding jug. Found. Isn't that cute? Yeah, and printer and a printer shelf. I think these would be so cute because the colors are so great for spring. Cacti. Oh yeah, I totally saw this as somebody having that in like their little printer shelf. Okay, so these are oh, precious memories. I no, not precious memories. Ah, I can't remember. But these are from Hallmark. These mm. tiny little. So it is like a resin. She's kind of made to look. It's from 1998. Um, she's made to look like clay. It's it. It is a resin. Or a bell. I'm sorry. I meant to say bell, but she doesn't have a bell. Um, oh my gosh. Wait. And then we have another one. Are you ready for this? Wait. Jay had the first 12. I'm sorry. Jay had the first 12. Ooh, look at these. Oh, look at their little moccasins. Are they not? Look at the most precious little thing. Again, these are, golly, it doesn't say. I know they are from Hallmark. I cannot remember. Hallmark did mm -hmm. ornaments too with, with in the Southwest theme mm -hmm. back in the 90s. I mean, look at how absolutely tiny they are. Oh, here's another, a little wood one with the cactus and wolf. I like the wolf. Y'all, and we're not, there's still more in here. There's you get more all quality. of it. You're getting, yeah, you absolutely That's get That's not even a dollar a piece right now. Mm -hmm. Another sombrero. Um, I just, I really, quite frankly, the figurines are oh, absolutely. Oh, it's a coyote and not a wolf. There's a, there is a difference. Uh, yes, I guess there is. So we've yeah. got other pieces in here, but my favorite are just like yeah, these cool. little pottery pieces. The is. colors are so bright and vibrant. Hi, Molly. Those. Hey, Molly, how are you? So again, just a bunch of different shapes and colors, but they're all the Southwestern. The potters are my favorite parts to it though i don't know it's the vibrancy of the colors these clay figurines were done really well yeah i love that coyote 
What is the difference between a coyote and a wolf? I I we think they're like cousins. Here. Is it but just again, you, you get, I don't know. I don't know. I just, I mean, look at that. Just the cutest little display. Yeah. I mean, you can mix and match, put it on a shelf. Like I said, it is quite Friends literally. Friends of a feather, Kim said. A what, huh? Friends of a feather. Friends of a feather. Thank you, Kim. More cactus. But oh, ladies, thank you so much her. for your bids. Again, you're going to get everything. Here's another person. Let's we go ahead and do the countdown. So here we go. 20. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and a bid end. Poppy, listen, you tell me that wolves have five legs. I'm gullible enough to believe that kind of knowledge. So don't tell me things like that. I'm like, oh, what? You think I five legs? There is our bid at, oh, y'all were duking it out there. At the, it's, a, it's a good right. deal, all of that little stuff. Season. But per, thank you, Kim. Purdy girl coming in. You could track at 16. It's all coming to you. Thank you, Purdy. <laughs> Bug said, I think that wolves like classic rock, but coyotes like hip hop. I mean, maybe. Okay, maybe. I I can I can agree with that. I, I I see it. Yeah, we have we have wool. I don't. Do we have coyotes in Indiana? I don't think so. I know we've got wolves because I hear them from my house. Oh, okay. These coyotes. were, huh? What? I said coyotes. Coyotes. Okay. Oh, you had a bit of 19. Never mind. Oh, Purdy, I appreciate it. Sorry, Jay. Oh, oh yeah. 17. It's going to Miss Jay. Miss Harper's thangs. Going to go up in Cali. It's going to Cali. Thank you, guys. And again, sorry. We try our best to like, Misty needs to look at her. I need to move my phone a little bit closer so I can pay attention to it and see the bids for what they are. Okay. These also were in my own Easter displays, but I'm downsizing, but they're really, really cute. And they are vintage, like little carnival knockdown things. And so this is going to be choice. And you're going to get, um, they're fifth, I'm starting them at $15 choice. Again, great for your Easter displays. And I'm everything's going to get shipped out uh, on Thursday morning. So you'll get them before Easter. But so it's choice. They're exactly, well, they're not exactly the same. You'll have to, you'll have to, it's, it's choice, so you'll let me know. So we've got a, a white bunny, and on the other side, he's yellow. And then we've got a black bunny, and on the other side, he's red. So they have these little stands on them. So, like, you can throw, like, a bean bag or whatever out to, you know, make them fall down. But I just started... I just kind of put them with all my bunnies. I had, like, on top of my cabinet, I just had... Oh, just like bunnies everywhere. I've actually sold a lot of them. These were like kind of the last little pieces of items that I kept. But I just think that they're really, really cute. I like the the black and white sides of them. But, you know, if you've got like a lot of pinks and stuff, you could add, you know, the, the, the white one has yellow. The black one has red. And then you can, you know, you can flop them around for whichever, whatever color you like. But they're very lightweight. They're like on a particle board. And then they have a wooden base. So I don't know. I just, I like stuff like this. You know, it's just random kind of things. And you can use them in your displays. So you're downsizing too. MB, we, you know, we say that we're downsizing, but then, I mean, we're always buying things too. And I'm like, I'm selling all these, but I'm collecting these. Like I just bought more globes and clocks because I need more. But you know, you get rid of some things, but then you add other things to your collections, but whatever. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start. Oh, you know what? Before I do count them down, let me. Oh, I got to use this. Karen Dondelinger. Um, you'll see in my video tomorrow, I opened up some friend mail from Karen and she got me this measuring tape. This is Karen's measuring tape. They are 12 inches, 12 inches tall they are. And you'll get your choice between the the black, or the black, no, the white with the yellow, the black with the red. It's, it's opposite for me, what you're saying. Okay, let's count them down. MB is in at 18, 15, no, 20, 
19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bid end. Hey, you know what? You could use them as a trophy for whoever won at your Easter egg hunt. You could personalize them and like that could be the trophy. I like that idea. Good, good thinking, Misty. Hi, Quail. Hi, Carol. Carol, welcome. It's your first sale. Let us know if this is the first time that you're checking out one of our live sales. We always like to know that. All right, there is the bid in. So MB, you get first pick at 18. Do you want the, the black with the red or the white with the yellow? Or you, you could take them both if you wanted to. But if you just take one, then Poppy is back up at 17. It isn't your first time, Susan, you silly girl. Isn't your silly girl. Red and black. All right, MB's getting the red and black. That would be. And then Poppy, are you interested in the yellow and white? Just let me know at 17. So that would be 18 and then 17. Mary, Beth. Okay. Oh, Poppy wanted them both. No problem, Poppy. All right. Let me go up here to Wartley. Oh, sorry, Michael. We just canceled each other out. Wartley, do you, are you interested in the yellow and white? If you aren't, that's fine too. Just let me know. Wartley, if you are interested in this one. And if you aren't, then it'll be up to Karen Radford next. Yay, Julia. It's Julia's first time here too. And I think I got your, e I think you sent me an email already, Julia. Okay, no problem. No problem. So Radford at 15. Did your fur, they did. Well, I mean, Maybell did. Mr. Flufferpants is like, huh. my dad was there. So someone was still there to feed him. So that's all he cares about. So Karen, let me know if you, it, Okay. All right. Karen, this one's coming to you for 15. Thank you so very much. All right. I know that we're a month behind because this month is March. Yes. <laughs> That's what I learned today. <laughs> I got a NAPCO for you. I got a NAPCO for you. She is you. in a great. Let me double check. I'm going to make sure here. Okay. There are no chips, cracks, or, or repairs. Dun, 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 dun. We're going to start her at 18 if anybody is interested. Speaking 18 if anybody is interested. It is, yes, boys and girls, it is the February Angel. Ooh, she's showing off her spaghetti. There she oh, is with her ooh, red heart. Yeah. Look, no paint wear to the red heart. The petals on the flower is still fully intact. There's her sweet face. He's nice. The gold halo. She's in really good condition, y'all. She really is. No repairs to the wings. You know, she is a birthday munch, munch, month girl. <laughs> she likes the munch on her birthday. Listen, there are a variety of different manufacturers. And then there are a number of manufacturers that made a variety of different uh, birthday month angels. The Napco ones in this particular line, I think are some of the best. And a lot of it is because of the items in which they are holding. Yeah. You know, some items are a little bit more fancy than others. Um, the February one, I think is excellent. Uh, it is a great gift. It is perfect for a collection. Clearly with a Valentine's Day display, it would go wonderfully. But if you are collecting them all, regardless of your birth month, yeah. it is a great, great collection because they all hold something a little oh. bit different. They're all Minx. sweet. Minx, you can just bid right here. You just bid right yeah. here, Minx. You just put it in the chat. And you get a mix of the boys, get it, get some girls in there. Now, do the full 12 months of boys yeah. or 12 months of girls, you know, do it all up if you want. But again, she has no chips, no cracks, no repairs to her wings are fully intact. Halo is still present, still nice and golden shiny. Oh, uh, the petals on the flower still intact, no paint wear to the red heart. Her spaghetti uh, is still fully there. Classic sponge uh, gold detailing on there. Again, very 50s, y'all know. 
little bit of gold detail there on the wing and an absolutely sweet little face. Mm -hmm. These are is. great too. Like if someone had a, you know, if someone, well, if someone's having a baby in February, mm -hmm. you know, it is a gift. Um, yeah. I just think this could start a collection. It's just like an early collection piece. I love these. Absolutely. She is four and a half inches. Sorry, I forgot to tell you. Four and a half inches tall. Mm -hmm. So she's not you y'all know. I mean, you've seen these on about yeah. presumably, but uh if not, she's four and a half inches. So mm -hmm. thank you all for the bids. We got Miss Ann in it at 21. Again, excellent vintage condition. Hi, Let's go ahead and do the countdown for you. So here we go. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, bid end. Yeah, the yes. astrology ones are pretty epic. The yeah. element ones that um I think it was it was Lafton that did the uh element ones. There's our bid end. Thank you, Miss Kim. Appreciate you. And almost lady, I do thank you, Miss Kim. At 26, Lady February, she is coming to love you. Thank you. Oh, my gosh, you guys. Okay, so look, we've got, so it's Cindy's first time here, too. So welcome, Cindy. And then Jill says it's her first time watching. She met you and Richard last weekend at the Springfield Flea Market. Yeah, I was living it up in Chicago. It was a fun time in Chicago. Wait. Oh, wait. Wait. Jill. I was about to say you were with your husband, but you're both there with your husband. Bus tour or teacher? Hi, Jill. <laughs> <laughs> we like we we like it when you guys are tell us that you're that it's your first time here, and it's just I don't know. It, we have a lot of fun. We have a lot of fun here on Tuesdays. But don't forget, we also if you're if you it's your first time here watching. Make sure that you go over to virtualantiquemarketplace.com because we have, that is our virtual antique mall. So we have, gosh, how many sellers do we have on there now? Two? 180, Seven. I think. Yeah. Anyway, almost almost 200. Yes. Um, and so make sure that you go over there and you can support so many other really trusted and vetted sellers over on Virtual Antique Marketplace. And... I think Drunk Susie is having a sale at two today. I'm having a sale at five. And I do believe that I think that I saw Miss Emmeline. Emmeline, are you having a sale tomorrow? Let me just tell you what. Emmeline, you need to watch her sales. She's a hoot. She's a hoot and a half. So Emmeline, put in when your sale is because you're a hoot and a half. Um, Jill says, yes, it was her husband and I. And, and a dog? Were you with your dog? The ginger, the ginger husband, yeah. <laughs> okay are you guys ready okay i didn't realize that this had a piece that was missing but it does but it this is a cupy this is made by jesco and it's a cupy tea set tomorrow at 12 30 eastern right emmeline i think 12 30 eastern i think so she's a hoot and a half okay so i wanted i didn't realize this when i bought it because i saw it and i was like oh, i love it but it has like it has one of the little cups is missing right there. It has the slot for the cup. But we've got one big plate. Look at that. Well, I'm going to start these at $18. $18. So we've got the big plate, which you could put on a little plate rack and use it with your other cupies or use it on your nightstand to put your rings and stuff in. And then we've got the, I haven't even popped these out of the thing. We've got the teapot. It does have its little lid too, but I'm not going to pull that out. And then the little plates, you get four of the little plates and they've got these little rosettes on them. And then I love the cups. Let me pull these out. Look at these little cups. Oh, wait, let me show you better. Look at that. Wouldn't that be, I need, that'd be a great tattoo with that little, just the little cupie face with the little flowers on it. You could get that on a wrist. It would not be like. I know. I I I was telling Mark the other day that I, I need to make an appointment. And then we've got the sugar and cream. The sugar bowl does have its lid. I'm not going to pop the lid out because that's, it's in there pretty good. But 
We've got the sugar and cream and look at the little design. I know. Ah, but so cute to set these up if you've got a cupid collection and uh, set them up on display or have a little tea party, you know, have a tea party. I love the little, the little teapot. They're like doing the two step in that. And then let me put this other cup in here, but it is missing one of the cups, sadly. Yeah, there's only three cups, but there are four plates. So there you are. And it is in the original box. It is made by Jesco. It's the QP tea set. And I don't know, it's just really cute. I can't pass up, no QP left behind, in my opinion. All right, get the lid back on it, Misty. Ah. Ages eight and up. Cameo QP tea set. Hi, Shauna. Shauna is in at 19. And I'm going to go ahead and start. Yeah, you could pretend like you are in the um, Alice in Wonderland and you took the big pill. You're getting big and you're, you know, drink, having your little tea set there. All right, let's go ahead and yes, let's do it. Michael and I need to go get a tattoo together. We need to do that, Michael. We say I that mean, we're going to, we just never have. So we almost did. Thank God we didn't, but. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> All right. Thank God. Sometimes <laughs> blessings come in disguises. All right, let's go ahead and count it down. Uh, 20, 19, 18, <laughs> 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bid end. Oh my gosh, Joanna, I film pretty much everything that goes on in my life. So yeah, if I got a tattoo, it'd be on film. It'd definitely be in the vlog for sure. <laughs> All right, so there is the bit in. Thank you so much, Kim. And also, hi, Bob. Hi, Bob. Um, Shauna, this is coming to you for $19. Thank you so very much. Okay. I just grabbed some flowers because I wanted to do a little quick arrangement. The flowers are not going to be included. But what is, is this little glass three-footed egg with that pink glass applied feet you know you typically see like the cracked eggs and they're right. always like porcelain and they're yeah. painted but you know here it is with some flowers you don't have to put any flowers in it if you don't want to <laughs> throw them away throw them, the floor. Like, throw them away um i love this and again the pink is very like depression pink um, I'm just giving you, I'm not saying that it is depression era. I don't know with any certainty, but we have beautiful white and clear cased glass on that. No chips, no cracks. Clearly it is perfect for our spring Easter displays. We'll start it at 15 if anybody is interested. It is coming in at four and one fourth inches tall. Four and one fourth inches tall. This I think would be great in a vanity because you could certainly, you know, use it for flowers if you wanted to. You don't have to put anything in it. Maybe if you've got like, um, cause they do make those bottle brush trees with like the pinks and stuff, that would be cute. I thought it would be really cute on a vanity though, to hold like makeup brushes. You could put it on a desk. Maybe you wanna do like pens or pencils. And there's something a little bit more elevated. So it's not so like wah wah boring, yeah, you like know? If you've got like a lot of people in their kitchen, we'll have like a little, uh, like a little office space. Mm -hmm. you know, oh, yeah, with like their little computer yeah. area. Mm -hmm. Instead of using but, a mug. Um, I thought it was really cute. Like I said, I hadn't seen one like this. You know, the the eggs are always, they're ceramic. They're all, yeah. they're like blue and pink and uh, cream and they're always hand painted. So oh. I honestly, this one's like a little bit more elevated to me. And you could, like, you, could you could even put like a little chick, like a little plushy chick. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or if you're giving your adult child a, a Easter basket, you could put little candies. And you know what? And I didn't even hi Richard. I didn't even try this one. Um, and it doesn't glow now. No, it doesn't. Yeah, somebody has like been getting into the pastels. Somebody has gotten this thing for pastels all of a sudden. The blues, the pinks. Mm -hmm. 
Is that you? Or would that be you or would that be Richard? No, you know it's not me. I don't, <laughs> I don't like. Listen, Richard got some slag glass from me when they came to visit, and he sent me a picture. He repurposed it in um, some porch lights, and they're gorgeous. And there's like a purpley slag glass. They're gorgeous, and they're pastel purple. He did. They're gorgeous. He sure did. He did. Um, I should post a picture of that on Instagram and in the community tab that because he got that light fixture from Misty's dad and he took it apart, polished it all up, spray painted it. And I had gotten some Fenton Cranberry Swirl Optic um, shades in Pennsylvania and it just all came together. I mean, it yeah. was perfect. It was perfect. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know that I have any glowy glass today, but tomorrow I will. Yeah, tomorrow I will. So any old how Miss Trina is in it at 20. Thank you, lady. I appreciate it. Thank you everyone for your bids. Again, four and one fourth inches tall. There are no chips, no cracks. It is a white and clear cased glass. With Bring it down, Richard. Heat. <laughs> Let's do it. If you want to, I don't, you know, go Wait. for it. Listen, Richard, there, you don't ever need an excuse to be on camera. Everyone wants to see you. They do, well, yeah. I still need to make the T-shirt that says, Hi, Richard. That's do. it. That's all it says. It just says, Hi, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's do the countdown. Miss Trita, you're holding it down at 20. Thank you, lady. Here we go. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and a bid end. Again, Richard, four and a fourth tall on that. I didn't Richard's give you a pretty time. adorable, but you know what's even more adorable is Richard and Michael together. Mm -hmm. It's two and a half inch diameter. Two and a half inch diameter. Thank you for the bid. And Miss Cam, <laughs> Trina, lady, congratulations and thank you at $20. The eggy is coming to you. Thank you. Really, really cute. Oh, look at that. Look what Stephanie said. <laughs> no, Stephanie, don't make it. I'm going to make it and then sell them, but I'll give you one. For <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, I need to come up with an idea for a t-shirt. Be quiet, Misty. <laughs> Something like that. Okay. Trina wants to know, can she have the flowers to go with it that you threw on the floor? I mean, maybe you might find something extra in your box. Maybe. There you go. Oh, that's that's another thing, too, that I didn't say. I saw the door. Hi, Richard. I saw the door slowly open. Um, oh. <laughs> also, oh, I you, believe, well, well, you literally I, brought it down. Oh, here, let me let's switch. Okay, my, I just want to say no, real quick, Michael and I have giveaways too. Mine will be announced. Michael's are mystery. Trina already knows what hers is apparently. <laughs> Look at this. And yeah. let me tell you, when when Richard got this, it was in sad yeah, shape. It, isn't this gorgeous? Now yeah. he, you got the globes. The, now you just got the fixtures yes. for me, but he found the yeah. globes separate. But it's isn't that gorgeous? Look yeah. at that purple. Yeah, the globes are so pretty. Starting at five thousand dollars. <laughs> Seriously. <Okay. laughs> I mean, if anybody wants to buy it. That was, I mean, that was really that just all came together, y'all. I didn't found those shades. What were they? Eighteen dollars. Yeah. Those glass shades were eighteen dollars yeah. each. Then we got um, Missy's dad let Richard yeah. have the fixture for twenty five. So, yeah. I mean cool. that. Wait till you see the other one we did or worked on. It's not put together yet, but it was, they call them wedding cake lights. It had all the prisms. There were 225 oh, wow. prisms on this light. Yeah. We've got it all cleaned and ready to install. We cleaned um, all of the prisms listen, by hand. Once, <laughs> once their house is finished and Michael is ready to do like a home tour, you guys are not going to... I've, I have seen their new home and it's the drywall wasn't even up and I got goosebumps just being in the property with not even any drywall up. So you guys are going to be in for a treat. Um, the uh, drywall is all up now. It's I been know. mudded. He's got stain down yeah. and upstairs. Like I'm in my work clothes. 
Because <laughs> I'm going over to work on staining floors. Oh, Faye said you were a wizard, Richard. A wizard. No, it's a, yeah. it, it's, 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 it's unbelievable. It's Richard. He has restored many a, a property and he is a wizard because they are gorgeous properties. So um, I, I'm, I'm amazed by you, it. He's stayed in too already. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh yeah. And he does all of the work. He, yeah. I mean, he does all of the work himself. So yeah, he's, Oh, look, he's Poppy says lights. he did. He's rewired. Yeah. Poppy says that you're even hotter now, Richard. Everyone loves <laughs> do everything. A real handyman. He's taken, Poppy. Sorry. Yeah, he is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going on to work. All right, bye. All right, bye, Richard. So, Seth, um, Michael, you're going to put that up probably on the culture of vintage, I'm assuming? Yes. Yeah, so Michael, has, if you didn't know, Michael does have a second channel as well. It's not, the, there's not a lot going on over there right now. <laughs> right, but he still does. It's the culture of vintage. The culture, so yeah. go subscribe over there. And also, I have a second channel to the Misty Show. I got a video going up this afternoon over there. So go follow us on our second channels. Also, mm -hmm. let me just say real quick. There you go. What? I am doing a giveaway when I once I reach forty thousand subscribers, and I hit forty thousand <laughs> subscribers. On Sunday, and then I didn't. And so, she was wrong. And Mark <laughs> thinks it's hilarious. I swear it's him joining. Nah, 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 nah. So I hope I'm at 40,000 subscribers soon so I can do that the giveaway that I'm wanting to do. But anyway, okay. Now on with the show. Okay. My next item is gorgeous. And I didn't realize that this is what it was when I bought it. Uh, but I think that it's beautiful. I. Uh, where's the marking at it? It is Costa Boda. Oh, uh, where are you at? Marking. Well, anyway, let me just show it to you. It's like a little dove. It's a glass. I think, I think that you're a dove. I mean, I don't know what the difference between a coyote and a wolf is, but I think that you're a dove. Where is your marking? Oh, there it is. Okay. So it's Costa right there is the marking. Isn't this pretty? So I'm using my little, uh, my colored disc here, which needs new batteries. That's really anticlimactic. But if you put this in your natural sunlight, she does look really, really nice. And I like her, her shape. I'm not going to give you the starting bid yet, just because I wanted to share with you that she does have a couple little like surface marks on the glass. So I just want you to be aware of that. It's not a scratch per se. But it, she does have a little bit of wear. It's not bad, but it is there. But isn't that so pretty? All right. I know. I love the sound that a dove makes, too. I don't know if that's an Indiana thing. But in the summertime, like the, the, the I don't know if they're turtle doves. What about when the doves cry? When doves cry. Okay. I am going to start this at $16. Thanks, Kim. All right. There we go. But I just think that this is really, really pretty. Now, this could be something that could represent a lot of different things. You could definitely put it out at Christmas. Um, you know, we think of, you know, a partridge in a pear tree, like some birds at Christmas time. But I think that it's just a very simple sculpt. So it would really look good with if you have mid-century modern glass. But it also would look good if you've got like primitives and stuff. So it it's kind of a classic little nondescript. It would fit in with lots of different decor pieces. Now one side is completely like smooth. And then the other side is a side that you can like feel the ridges. And then this is very much like a sort of like a, uh, a Viking, uh, you know, the animal bookmarks, how one side's kind of wavy, that glass is a little bit wavy. So we've got a little bit of wave there to the glass, but really, really pretty. I've not seen this before. I just, I, I like Costa Boda and I thought it was just really, really pretty. All right. Hi, Heidi. 
Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start counting it down. Thank you, Susan. Susan was at a 20. And then we've got Barbara is in at 22. And let's start counting our dove down. Where's my little thing? Here we go. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bid end. Who knows what what kind of dove makes that brrr, brrr sound? And the su I only hear it in the summertime. It's just like a sound that just reminds me of like. And did anybody else just go and lay down in their yard? Was that just me? Just listen to the sound. Like go down and like lay in your yard on a blanket and like just like look up at the trees and just like listen to like the wind blowing through the trees. Was that just me? I don't think it was. I think a lot of people have done that before. Yeah, see, Susan did it too. Morning doves. Okay. I like that sound. It's a very it's a sound that reminds me of my childhood. All right. So Susan has the just in case of 30. Oh, okay. So Tracy had a bid of 29. Susan had a just in case of 37. So Susan, this little birdie is coming to you for $30. But hang on, Susan. You're going to like the giveaway. Let me write your name down. Susan, this is wow. gonna make you feel like this is going to do the trick. It's going to make you feel so happy. Let me write your name down. Okay. And now everybody else is going to want one, Susan. Everyone else is going to want one. All right. So, Susan, you're going to get like my standard, a black light keychain. You're going to get my friend Anna Eckhart gave me a bunch. She sent me a bunch of her stickers that she designed. So you're going to get a little waving kitty cat. You're going to get just the, the, the OG Stay Weird sticker. And these, these are my new stickers. And I designed them. And you can tell because they are not straight. And my daughter wanted me to make <laughs> sure that you all knew that she did not do these. I did. But, uh, and they're a little small. But you know what? We got them anyway. So you're going to get one of the very first Silly Goose crew member. We're Silly Gooses. So you're going to get that. And that's not what I said everybody will want. This is, you are going to get an emotional support pickle. Isn't it great? And look at its little face. I'm here for you, Susan. I'm here. Isn't that cute? So you're going to get an emotional, you can do this, Susan. You know, when you're having a bad day. Oh, no, I flopped his eye off. I'll fix it, Susan. I just unglued his eye. Look at Ha, help me, Susan. But I'm going to fix that before I send it to you. But that's coming to you. Thank you so much, Susan. <laughs> I mean, don't you all want an emotional sport pickle? I mean, I think that it's interesting that whomever <laughs> chose to create that, that pickle. It's a pickle, Michael. A pickle. pickle. Not nothing else but a pickle. It's Susan. I... You know, hey, to each their own. <laughs> to each their own. Wait, what did Poppy say? I got to see what Poppy said. Does it vibe? If you shake it, it does, Poppy. <laughs> if you shake it. I got Any that from time. Daphne didn't make that. I got that from another antique mall. I like to find things to do as giveaways that somebody else has made, little quirky things like that. So I saw those and I was like, that's perfect. It's quirky, yeah. all right. Perfect. That's a quirky. That's a quirky, quirky one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. I can all right. it, though, I can I can crochet one shape things. Square. A rectangle. Square. Yeah. This is only the second time ever that I've been able to bring you all some Rookwood pottery. <laughs> I'm so glad. So we are clearly marked on the bottom. Okay. I love this. It is a six inch bud face. I love the shape of this. It's got Ooh. like an arts and crafts vibe to it, but a little mid century. So I, love I just I love that. look at the shape on that, the mm -hmm. swirl effect. I mean, it very much looks kind of, it looks like a bulb that is starting to bloom. This is what I'm seeing. A tulip bulb. Yeah. A snail shell. I mean, I just love how organic the piece is. It is coming in at six inches. 
That's really now we're going to start her off at 25. Again, it is signed Rookwood. Oh, it's Rookwood. Yes, oh, man, it's Rookwood. It is Rookwood. I love this. Isn't that, I just, that shape is fantastic. Again, six inches. You got a little bit of like a swung mouth, a yip yip mouth on there, if you will. Um, the glaze, it's not fully glazed on the interior. You can kind of see there is some white there. Okay. But this is stunning. I have never, never. This is, like I said, this is only ever the second piece of Rookwood that I've ever been able to bring. I think my first piece was a, um, it was a cardinal. It was just a little Rookwood cardinal piece. Um, that was the only other piece of Rookwood that I've ever <laughs> been able to bring to a sale. Um, Rookwood, I don't find it. Quite frankly, I, I don't see it. And then when I do see it, y'all know it's priced. Yeah. So um, this was just, it was a huge um, score. The vendor I got it from, they primarily deal in glass, specifically Fenton. So they knew what it was. Um, but I just don't, it's like one of those things where they didn't apprise it as much as maybe some of their glass because their passion is clearly in glass. And they're like, yeah, it's Rookwood. Here's a fair price. Let's just move it. Um, and I was like, well, okay. So I snatched it up. Which is a really good tip when you're shopping mm -hmm. to, to kind of look for those booths that maybe yeah. specialize in one thing. And they're like, eh, I don't really care about that other thing. Yeah. I mean, I do that. I appraise things for higher just same. if I'm interested in it, you know, than things that I don't. So it's a good tip. Yeah. It's yeah. beautiful. And I mean, I got a really good deal on it. So we started yeah. a really good deal. It is, I just, buttery soft glaze, number one. It is a matte. Now it is, of course, reflecting some of the light, but it's not glossy by any means, but it does still have a little bit of a luster to it. Uh, in real life, you will you will actually see the light reflecting off of it. But again, it's not a high glaze. Rookwood, you know, just I, in comparison. R O O K W O O D. Now, I think yeah. wouldn't like just one like little single tulip, just one little single tulip, or one little rose, or something. You, you know, know, I try. I, I think just, it's okay with nothing in it. But you know, if you just wanted to add a little, yeah, a little pop of color. You could do a little something to it. Yeah, I think that's sweet. I think that's sweet. Mm -hmm. But you don't have to. I love it. Sculpture, oh, I, I just think it's an amazing sculptural piece. Yeah. Kind of arts and crafts, but the yeah. color, like that light mulberry is giving us a mid-century vibe. So I love it. I absolutely love it. Yes. All right. Miss Betsy is in it at 50. Thank you, ladies, for the bids. Appreciate you. Six inches tall, no chips, no cracks. And again, it is stared or signed. Let's do it. So, where'd she go? I don't know. We'll do the countdown. So here we go 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. Yes. Nine, yes, eight, Heidi. Seven, six, five, four, oh, three, no. two, like that, one, and bid end. No, they don't, but this is their signature. I forget it, why. It's R O O K. R O O K. Yeah. There is our bid end. Thank you, Miss Kim Beth. I appreciate you, girl. It did come in after the bid end. So, Deb, you almost had it, but Miss Barbara threw it in. Barbara Lady, congratulations. Thank you. At 52, it is coming to you. And I still think you got a great deal. I on do it too. too. So, thank you. Yeah. 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 <laughs> my sure can say, where did Misty go? I don't know. I My computer, I don't know. Maybe y'all can help me. Mark has helped me with this before, but I'm on my laptop and I don't know how to lock the little pad, like the little. Like, because my hand keeps touching it, somehow the lock turned off. Like, were you not the little touchpad? I hate the touchpad, and I don't know how to lock it. So, I'll figure it out later. So, put a piece of cardboard up. I, I don't know. Okay, so it says numb lock. No, that's the numbers, but it's the pad. Anyway, we'll figure it out later. Okay, so um. It's a Windows, Windows. 
I love ephemera and I love these. I was actually with, oh, key lock, key lock. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll look for it here in a minute. Um, I was with Enamor Amy when I got these and we were at Countryside Antiques and the, I think that's where we were at. I was with Enamor Amy when we got these and they are, they're gorgeous. They're all from 1929. They're magazines. They're all red book magazines from 1929. I'm going to start them at $10 choice. Um, uh, I'll look for it later. Okay. So we've got April, 1929. They're all red. They were the red book, red book magazine. They've changed. They're no longer red book, but Look at the artwork on here. So the artists on all on all of them are Earl Christie. Earl Christie, April 1929. The, the artwork on the cover is amazing. And look at this. Oh, Douglas Fairbanks on the back. Mm. He was the real swashbuckler, Dust, uh, Douglas Fairbanks, selling his Lucky Strikes cigarettes. But on the inside now, these are from 1929. They are almost 100 years old. So we do have some, you know, condition issues. But they're all really in really nice condition. My favorite part about, and this is just one. I've got three of them. But my favorite part are all of the advertisements in the back. So we've got, let's see, sleepless nights. How to end them without drugs. Without drugs. All day energy tomorrow. Oh, gosh. If you drink your Ovaltine. I don't think so. That's not true. Um, and then I love the advertisements in here. They're just great. So there are a lot of short stories and advertisements. So this one's April 1929. And then, yeah, now these are choice, guys. They're choice. And then we've got September 1929. Again, with an Earl Christie um, advert, uh, artwork on the cover. And on the back of this one, we've got camel cigarettes, moments that matter, romantic, uh, uh, cigarette so marvelously good that the most thrilling moment gains new meaning from it. 1929. And then I love this one. This one's probably my favorite because she looks like a gypsy. This one's August, 1929. Again, with an Earl Christie artwork on the cover. Um, this one, like some of the uh, some of the the stories, beginning a novel of this moment, Manhattan Migridge by Sophie Kerr. And then the back one of this one is in the worst shape, but it's not cigarettes. It's ivory soap is the advertisements on this one. But also on the inside, um, there. Oh gosh, Michael, wait till you see these. You're gonna die. On the inside of them, they have these like little inserts and um that are like a little bit different than the regular pages but this is like all of the actresses and stuff from the era they're gorgeous gorgeous look at this aren't they great barbara newberry harriet hagman oh look at those finger waves they're gorgeous that one's juanita nun um so they each have and then we got Palm Olive. Why so hot, my little man? Common sense editorial, but great advertisements in it. Okay. Again, you set some magazines out like this on your coffee table. People are going to look through these and they're just interesting. So Anne is in at 23. I'm going to go ahead and start counting them down. Here we go. Um, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, ooh, 4, 3, 2, 1, bid in. There's like little pops of yellow. It's like a sepia with little pops of yellow. I love these Gibson girls. Red Book Magazine, Carol Kingsbury, Frank, well, Frank Goodwin, Mrs. Frank, Mrs. Frank Goodwin. Stars demand genuine Maybelline. Follow their advice. I love them. I love them. All right. So we've got, there's the bid in. Thank you guys all for your bids. 
Okay, so Anne, you had a just in case of 40. So I think you get first pick at 25. So at 25, Anne, are you interested in April 1929, August 1929, or September 1929? Aren't they great? Earl Christie is the art is the artwork on the cover. They're gorgeous. So you just let me know. And then at 25, and then Lady Bird, no, wait. Debbie, you will get second pick at 24. Oh, oh, great. All right. They're all coming to you, and they're gorgeous. I have never seen, I have never seen them in that good of a condition. So those are all coming to you for 25 each. Thank you so very much. It's going to be great. All right. Let's jump to glass again. I thought this was Hobbs when I found it, but it's not Hobbs. It is, in fact, the Fenton milk glass on this. I love this one because it is hobnail, but the hobnails on it are just, they're big. They're not super pointy. There's a couple of points on it. It is obviously a pedestaled candy dish. Um, now, it does, in fact, have its Fenton sticker on the interior. Oh, cool. So you have like that chartreuse foil sticker it does predate 1971 there are no chips there are no cracks and that does include this is usually where you see the chips it's got like these little pedestal feet or these little nubbins here to kind of keep it intact um there are no chips on it as a matter of fact on some of them even you can see there's like the little burrs that came out oh. from the mold so it is in excellent condition yes i love this piece it's just the hobnail on it is so different because traditionally you see them more pointy like i said i thought and i know hobbs glass does do one of these maybe they didn't do it in the milk glass and they did it in the clear with the gold the nips the nips of it all bloop, bloop. all right let's start her off at 20 if anybody is interested we'll start it at 20 if anybody is interested hi mary there, again no chips no cracks excellent vintage condition you are coming in at nine inches tall from base to the top of the finial nine inches tall and then you have a diameter on the candy dish itself keeping in mind i did measure from bump out to bump out or ruffle to ruffle that is at five inches. That's an exact five inches on that one. Great for your so, uh, marble Easter eggs. I know, I you know, that milk glass, see, I'm telling you, I do think it's gonna make a resurgence. Clearly not every piece, but this one has got yeah. a great presence to it. Cause again, the hobnail is different than what you're traditionally seeing, but milk glass, right? Amazing yeah. collection. It is super dynamic. When you get a lot of different pieces, a lot of different sculpts on it, it doesn't sound like it would be, but it is. Sure, and it's not that. overwhelming because it's all white. It's going to go into any decor, but it is going to go into any season yeah. also. It's you can use time. white year round. Absolutely. <laughs> and with clear glass, oh my word, the pastels for your spring, you could do obviously uh, a dark, like a colonial blue, and then just do a ruby red. You've got for your summer months, your patriotic, yeah. clearly with a pastel blue or um, satin glasses for like a winter vibe. I mean, it's really endless what milk glass can do. Yeah. So thank you, ladies, for the bids. Really appreciate y'all. Miss Jackson's coming in at 33, nine inches tall, five inch diameter. There are virtually no chips or cracks. That sticker is somewhere right in there for you. I like, I do. I love this piece. I don't, this is a piece I don't get tired of. Well, I you don't could get put tired. your emotional pickles in there. You could keep all you your You could put your emotional pick and keep it a secret. You know, we don't need to have all of our guests, all of our company come over and know all of our secrets. So, right. yeah, putting your emotional pickles in here, it's probably a real good idea. Yeah. Yeah. Or all anything right. else you use for your emotions. Like uh, oh, I would love to see this in the past and that turquoise. Oh, the yeah. Oh, but still my heart. All right. Let's go ahead and do the countdown. Here we go. 
that eye. So 20 and 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, oh. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and a bid end. Miss Jones, she's got quite the milk glass collection. Oh. Uh oh, uh -oh. Miss Jackson ain't playing, but neither is Miss Trina. Well, thank you, Quail. I appreciate it. <laughs> oh, there's the bid in. I can't oh, play. Susan, it's really, you know. You're 61 oh. right after the bid in. Right after Sister Friend, almost. Almost. But that means, Miss Trina, congratulations and thank you again at 58, lady. It's coming to you. Thank you. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. My next item is a TV lamp. It's gorgeous. Now I will say, well, let me show it to you. Oh no, let me get it untangled. Oh, okay, my cart, there we go. Whew, I'm gonna shine this on my face, but we can, oh here, let me turn the light off. It works, see it does work, but this is a, I don't, I think, gosh, I think Shawnee, no, American Bisque. I don't know. This looks like an American bisque bottom, but this reminds me of a Shawnee deer. So I don't, I'm not certain who made this, but it is a gorgeous TV lamp with this, a deer that's at attention. The deer is a very, very pale, very pale, almost white, buttery yellow. And then the, let me take my greenery out. The, um, this part is black. And then we've got this beautiful white, drip glaze that goes all the way around it. You can see on the inside at one time there was some florist foam in there. So that's like at the remnants of that green, you know, that green stuff. I love TV lamps and I especially love figural pieces like that. So this kind of checks all the boxes for me. It's in wonderful condition. The, I highly suggest this is not an LED battery or battery light bulb, but I highly suggest using an LED battery. They're not light bulb. They're not going to get hot. It's going to save you money if you you know want to leave it on as a night light. The cord is in excellent condition. There isn't any issues with it at all. And so I'm going to start the bids at 25 for the, the TV lamp or little accent lamp. Now you can see like right here, it's got like some weird, it's almost like there's like a, like a little piece of metal coming out right there like an armature, I don't know, right there. Or maybe they use the metal to, to stick in its hooves. Maybe, maybe. That's the only, other than this part right here, but you know, you can, I just stuck in some greenery, put it in there, in there like that. I think at Christmas time too, this would be cute too with a bunch of bottle brush trees in there. But I like the sculpt. I like the form and shape of it. And it's just, and it's in really nice condition, the cord. I would trust leaving this on. I wouldn't. It doesn't, it does not have a toggle on the cord. It has the little toggle on, on the lamp itself. It's really, really cute. I like it a lot. You just bought a mixture of 25 different sizes of glass bluebird happiness. Oh my gosh. That's awesome. That's awesome. Ooh, you have to post a picture, Matthew. No, Bobby, I didn't. But that green and that just elevate. I don't know. That just made that piece. That oh, contrast. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, I agree. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and start counting it down. Emmeline is in at 25. And here we go. 20. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bid end. If you've got like the Panther um, TV, I think this would be like the black one. I think it would be really good because of this black pottery right here with this gray white drip glaze. I think that would be really, really pretty. All right. So Laura. Okay. So Emmeline had a, well, Pat had a bid of 28. Emmeline had a bid of 30, but Wortley came in with her just in case of 31. So Wortley, it's coming to you for $31. Thank you very, very much. 
That's yeah. why I didn't get it, Bobby, because I'm here in Ohio. I will be getting it next week. Stephanie, I did just get yours. <laughs> She's going to think I'm crazy when I say this, but I did a photo shoot with it. What? With what? Stephanie sent me. I can't tell. You have to see. Oh, okay. You have, you have Stephanie's to probably like, how did he do a photo? But I promise you, it actually looks really cute. I'm going to post it tonight. So be on the lookout for it. Oh, well, I'm looking forward to this. I just, I, well, I happened to open it and we had stuff on the kitchen countertop that was set up to kind of, you know, have a display. And I yeah. was like, I'm actually going to take a picture of it like that. <laughs> Anyhow. Hey. Uh, I mean, you know, carpe diem, it was like there. So I was like, it looks really good. Okay, anyhow. Right. I've got a choice. Right. I'm going to do the choice. We're going to start it at $18. Um, you can choose one. You can choose both. These have been, they've done surprisingly well in the past. So I was able to get two more for you. These are always in limited quantities. So you can choose one. You can choose both. Like I said, can you tell what it is from the sound? They are the sewing notion. I love the sound. Wait, let's listen. Make that sound again. I don't know why I like that sound so much, but I do. Love it. Crinkle, crinkle. Um, so those are the two choices. Now, unlike the ones in the past, these ones are a little bit more different than the ones I've had in the past. The ones in the past have been more similar to one another. This one specifically here, we're going to call this bag the no fabric bag. There is no fabric. Wait a minute. There is no fabric in this bag, okay, um, that I have been able to identify. But this is filled with vintage sewing notions of a variety of different there are tools that are in here that's that. a crochet needle isn't it it's a boil yeah ergonomic aluminum crochet hook i've got Still that one it's one. nice it's spongy oh shoot i got a well there's other hooks and tools that are in here i can see that this is happening to me right now these bags are in like an acrylic bag so the more I crinkle them, it gets a little janky. But you got the tape measure. Um, there's neck openings. There's zippers. There's pom poms. Um, the machine Magic. needles. Ball five ballpoint machine needles. Some of you might know what that is. I have no clue. Uh, clearly, we have snapbacks here. There's eyelets. There's vintage thread spools. Again, crochet hooks. Um, Scissors. I don't know. There's this thing here. There's this orange looking tool. Like, I don't think this one has any scissors in it. There's this thing too. I don't know. Can y'all see what it in there? That? I don't know. I have no clue. Like I said, I'm the wrong person. I just thought they were really cool. Um, and as you all have informed I me, there's that. Um, the reason that these are desirable is because the vintage showing notions, um, the tools, they're of a higher quality, which that is not surprising. Right. Um, so that is choice one. Choice two is the one that has fabric. Now I did have to tape this bag shut because it split open on me. That one this but one. looks like eyeballs. It they yeah look. We need that for our pickles. Pacific buttons. We need buttons oh, that are like eyeballs for our pickles. Um, this does, in fact, this bag I know has scissors because it's split open on me. Where the scissors are in here, I don't know. They, this bag does, in fact, have scissors. They're um, metal, silver, but this one does have some fabric. The sunflower fabric, their fabric patterns. Yeah. And this one, I do believe this one, yeah, this one also has fabric patterns. So that bag, no fabric. And then this bag is the fabric. Okay. So again, just like the other, there's all kinds of vintage sewing notions. You've got bobbins, spools of thread, there's beads, there is vintage glitter right here. 
that mic, that vintage mica glitter is a hard to come by because they don't sell it like they don't make it like they used to. And it is. It's that. I mean, you can literally see the squares. Yeah. In this, okay. Um, with the naked eye. Um, this again. This one, the fabric one, I know has scissors because it's split open and I had to tape it back together. But this, this one without fabric, I can see these tools. Um, there could be scissors in the other one because now I can't even see the scissors in this one. Um, there are needles. Yes. The again, fabric. That are jagged. Yeah. Oh, the pinking shears. That I don't know. Yeah. So this is with fabric. Okay. That is choice. And then without fabric is another choice or you could do both yes um i know the ladies in the past there's even look heavy duty elastic is in there you get six yards of it um that the value is in there and it definitely will take you some time to go through them okay so fabric no fabric or you could do both don't but, you guys uh, remember did you all have like your grandma had like a a tin full of buttons oh. and you opened it up and they had us it had a certain smell no, no mine had embroidery thread in another yeah. one too yeah like that closet with all of those things yeah that had a specific smell yeah like it smelled good it was a good smell but, but it, it, mm. it's just like it you it's just like a nostalgia smell yeah a hundred yeah. percent I was in a vendor's booth and they had a lot of sewing notions and I walked in and I was like, I am in my grandmother's closet right, right. now. Right. Like, it was powerful. I love that vintage can like evoke those kinds of memories. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? No. Hi, Jess. All right, y'all. So there are your choices. Miss Deb's got it at 35. Again, this is the bag without fabric. This is the bag with fabric. Okay. Let's do it. 20. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bid end. Listen, I Without, bought I bought some pinking shears from Mini Measures. Yeah. I got to say. This one down because it is really week. starting to split on me. Let me hold it here. Dab, ooh, to look pretty. Kim, thank you for that bid. And pretty girl, she's going for more baggies. I'm selling <laughs> more things. Get it? So then at 38, Purdy, do you want no fabric? Do you want fabric? Or would you like both? Up to you, lady. I bought start. some sewing notions. I'm going to bring them next week. Michael has inspired me. Ooh, I'm going to tape this right now before both. Purdy, girl, congratulations and thank 38. you. 38. 30, 38. You are going to get both baggies. Thank you so much and enjoy again. Thank you. Yeah, I am um, many measures. If you are in like the northern Indiana area, I highly recommend paying a trip to many measures. It's in Remington, Indiana. It's just a mom and pop shop. Um, they're lovely people and they've got a lot of amazing, amazing things. So go check them out. Okay. I have a Daphne item. It's so cute. It's a little bee. Mm -hmm. Look at me. I got a little mm -hmm. bee. Oh. It's a cute little bumblebee. I had someone reach out to me and they wanted me to go back and get a bee. And I did. And so I just bought two of them. I thought, well, I'll bring one to the sale. But I think that this is adorable. She's got little heart cheeks. She's just a cute little bee. I haven't been into, I'm going to go into Riverside hopefully at some point this week. Because I haven't been there in a, a week and a half, which is rare for me. All right. So I am going to start our little Daphne bee at $15. Sorry. Oh, we like that sound though, Michael. Oh, you could have told me. I just didn't want anything to spill. <laughs> I'm like. I like it. I like it. <laughs> so I love, I mean, Daphne just does such a great job with all of her little, with all of her critters that she makes. And this is just a little happy bee. And we're trying to save the bees, right? We don't kill the bees. We let the bees do their thing. 
and you know, we, we don't bother them and they won't bother us. I mean, that's what I used to always tell my kids and my students out on recess duty. If you don't bother them, they won't bother you. Sometimes telling kids that though, they're like, well, I'm going to go bother them. And you tell them to do something and then do the opposite of it. But I love it. I think that it's just a happy little bee. This will be a great gift for someone just to kind of cheer them up a little bit. I think is she's just really, really cute. And I like the little miniature wings that she's added to it. Also at the pop-up, Emma, my daughter crochets, I crochets items as well. She's making crocheted flower bouquets that are, that are going to be, um, and so she's like looking for different vessels to put them in. So she's going to be selling some of her crocheted floral items during the pop-up. So it's going to be a lot of fun. All right, Zona, I see you're in at 22. Oh, you could hang like fishing wire on it and add it for a display. It could buzz around. It's just really, really cute. Stephanie's in at 23. Okay. And let's go ahead and count our little B down. Here we go. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13. And don't worry. Be happy. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bid, end. Gosh, I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't think that she has any of her critters actively listed right now. So, but I'm going to stop in and see and check out her booth. Cause I am certain she probably has all kinds of Easter things that I've just missed. I have just missed Stephanie. I bet that Misty will give you free shipping. Stephanie. I would Get yes, I would give you free shipping, Stephanie. So Lori Wortley was in at 25. Azona has a just in case of 30. I'm going to assume, Stephanie, that you meant 25 on that bid. So there is <laughs> bid end. So Zona, they are, this bee is coming to you for 26. Seven. No. Seven. Oh, 26. Because Stephanie meant 25. $26 to you, Zona. Thank you so very much. Okay. I've got, you're going to get everything in this next shut up here. Okay. Ah, I just dropped one. Hold on. Don't worry. Not over the fragile. Okay. Thank you, Kim. But Thank you, Kim. You get, this is an instant display if you want to set it up like this. Okay. Here we go. And I am going to start it off at 30 because you are getting everything in it. All righty. Everything. Everything. So clearly this is going to be really good for your Easter. So I set you up. You are oh, ready to this go. is amazing. But you've got a little bunny. He is a photo voter. Mm -hmm. Now you can, and what I am going to do, this does unscrew from the bunny. Okay, but he's this little cast metal bunny. All right. And then he's got, you know, I think that y'all are familiar with it, but the wire uh, arms on that so you can put photos or postcards in it. Clearly, I chose to give you six Easter oh, postcards. Now, these wires, if you didn't know, you can you can leave it as this or if you have additional ones, you can put them in there. But I just kind of bend the wires so mm -hmm. that you have, you don't see the empty ones. It's not going to hurt it, but you're going to get the photo or postcard holder. Again, he is the bunny and you're getting all six of these Easter postcards. Oh, Let's so take a look cute. at the postcards. The postcards are really good y'all. So first up, check it. Do you see the little pixies up there? What they're oh, doing? Oh my gosh. <gasps> what are I they doing know. to that chicken? I don't know. They're stealing the eggs. This is a Whitney made Worcestershire, Worcestershire, Massachusetts postcard. So there is an That's inscription the in the back, one. but no postmark. Okay. But look at those. Oh, they're like, give me your eggs, chicken. Uh, right? Kind of sketch. Um, this one, I can't say with certainty that it is a postcard, but clearly I thought it went great with our Easter or spring display. It's a pink yeah. rose. Um, there is quite literally nothing on the back, okay? But it is embossed. Do you know who made the bunny, Michael? I have no clue, okay. no. 
I don't listen. I don't think that the bunny is, it's not antique. Right. I do think that it's vintage contemporary, um, but I just loved it. I loved this. Right. And I was like, wait, I have Easter postcards. Yeah. And right. I was like, well, I want to do the whole thing. So that, you know, I love it. That's the added bonus. It is part of it, but these yeah. postcards are really good. So check out this one with that gold foiling on there. <laughs> right, Poppy. Uh, look at this those bunnies. Are like, excuse me. Uh -huh. Made in Germany. There oh. is no postmark or writing on this one. And again, we've got made in Germany down here, but fully embossed. And it's got the lines for your address. That I don't remember, but that is an indication of the age too. 1908 or earlier. Yeah, y'all, we're we're getting there. We're gonna we're about to really amp up the Easter postcard game. Okay. <laughs> This one again is made in Germany. Um, this one is does have a postmark. Yeah, of Purdy, Purdy's putting in a power bid. Look at that. Look at that. Look at the sheep in the egg oh, house, plain as Lou. And down here, I mean, this is straight up pagan Easter postcard. Are those wolves in sheep's clothing? Yep. No. 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 No, they're just like the black face. But do you see this? This is some crazy. Look I at that, though. It. Look at the all of those colors, the gold, the embossing. Like, oh, this is lady sheep. And she's, you know, they're Twitter painted. <laughs> she's playing her siren song. So, yep. again, that one is postmarked. Um, 1911. Year before the Titanic sank. Okay. Now, I don't know. I, I feel like these two are kind of tied for first. It's going to okay. totally be for you. Okay. So that there are six postcards, by the way. I know. I kind of um, like they're, they got long tails for sheeps. This one is International Art Publishing Company printed in Germany. Now, this is postmarked 1908. However, there is no line. Thank you, Moody Mommy, for teaching us all that. Yeah. So that means that this postcard was made before 1907. Okay. You were only allowed to address it on the back. There was no, you couldn't put script. So they did write a little happy oh, Easter wow. location up here in pencil. But look at the subject matter. You've got your little fairy riding the egg and then the butterflies are the it's like the little carriage okay oh, and it says a happy easter monkeys something mothers hope you are well from your son culver oh so it says dear mother hope you are well from your son culver and that says it right there okay i love it 1908 and it's still here. You know what I mean? I it's it. amazing. So I feel like that one, though I feel like this one too could be tied for first. I don't know. Okay, wait till you see the last one. This one is, I don't know. It's pretty epic. Y'all, this one, it uh, it just says Easter series number 42. Um, Enash, an Enash postcard. Does have the line. It was inscribed, but there is no... No postmark on it. Are y'all ready for this one? Uh, oh, that's the best one, I think. That's my favorite. I love Easter, that one. Easter joys. And you've got the little girl dressed oh, up. Oh, I love it. Look at those colors of the eggs. That pop of color. I love it. Yeah, it's just, it's. That's my favorite. That's, these postcards are like, there's good postcards. And then there's really good postcards. Like these are, in my opinion, really good postcards because of the yeah. subject matter, the vibrancy of the color. I mean, quite frankly, so is this one. Like that's amazing. Now, whether you would choose to display it in the bunny um, picture holder or not, that's totally up to you. There are more hooks than the six. So there's two, four, six, eight, there's 10. You could do 10, add more postcards, add antique photos into it. Do like a whole collage. Don't don't just do photos, but throw in your antique postcards. You know, it would be cute though too if you've got like pictures of like your kids with their picture with the Easter bunny and mm -hmm. add those in with the antique postcards too. Oh my gosh, 100%. 
So like I said, you can move the wires. So clearly we have one here. I'm just gonna bend that back a little bit to kill that space. And we're gonna kind of put it in there. So you get the Easter Bunny photo holder. You're gonna get all six of the postcards. Arrange it however you would like. But yeah, thank you everybody for the bids. Tracy is in at 43. Yeah. And let's go ahead and do the countdown. So here we go. Um, 20, 19, 18, 17. I'm not gonna do that. 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, love it. Love 2, it. 1, and a bid end. And this is going to help with like the shipping, but we're just going to unscrew the bunny. So you do have a little metal bunny figurine if you prefer. And then you get all six of those postcards. Nice. Oh. And then we're just going to fold this down. Pew, pew, oh, crazy. Bunny. Just like that. Thank you, Ms. Kim, for the bid. And thank you, ladies, for the bids. I yeah. was really hoping you would dig it. I'm I think it's Y'all did. That's Tracy, it. congratulations. Everything is coming to you for $56. Thank you so much. And Kim's emojis were on point, too. Those are great, Kim. <laughs> the bunnies and the hearts. The bunny, postcard. bunny postcard bid end. Yeah, that that's amazing. I like that. I mean, I really like to see when sellers, like, pair things and like make a little vignette. I think that really helps because sometimes it does. I mean, sometimes we see something and you can get in, you can get inspiration and, and make a little vignette and stuff out of that. And that's, that's, that's the fun part of it. Okay. Well, all of you sewing ladies out there, you might need my li a little help from the girl that I'm about to show you. This is, she is charming coquette. She's that 1970s pulpy stuff. She does glow like the Dickens. I mean, she's got the great day glow paint, which is not, you can't even tell, but she's got the, the great day, go, day glow paint. And I know that her name is Charming Coquette because she's got her original box. And it says, Charming Coquette. She's a pin cushion and tape measure. So her hat is the pin cushion. So she's got a styrofoam hat. And you could stab her in the head with your pins. And then she's got her tape measure on the side there. Now, before I wanted to, like, before I give the starting bid, she's got, like, a little bit of paint loss right there. So I wanted to show that to you. She is made in Japan. She does have her made in Japan sticker. But she's great. And if you've got, like, a sewing room, I think that she's, she's just a cute little 1970s great thing. It says on the box, she's made in Japan. I think that's 8080 one piece, or maybe it says Bobo. I think it's 8080, not Bobo, but she's got her original box. Isn't she cute? Okay, so I'm gonna start her at $18. I got her. Gosh, did I get her? No, I don't think I got her at many measures. I don't remember. But I think that she's really, really cute. You could stick brooches in her head too. You could. She does come with some multicolored pins. Um, I almost bought, and I wish I'm kicking myself that I didn't buy them for many measures. They had a bunch of Victorian pin cushions. Kicking myself. You know, sometimes when you don't buy something, it haunts you. It really does. Like, I'll lay in bed. I'm like, dang it. Because that's like three and a half, almost four hours away from me. So I'm not going to, it's not just a hop, skip, and a jump for me to go and, and pick them up again. But she's a ginger. She's got her little pink lips and her little flower on her shirt. Do you know what I've done in that those situations when it's far away? Because sometimes you'd be surprised. But if you call them and you're like, hey, do you remember I was just in there? Especially if you're spending some money. They're more. Yeah, I mean, and they would. They're and so like, kind. They, <laughs> yeah, I, 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 yeah. I, I may end up doing that because it was kind of bugging me a little bit. But. You got to buy it when you see it. That's right, Ladybird. You sure do. You sure do. All right. Oh, my shirt, Heidi. It just says, hello. It kind of looked like bunny ears right there, but just hello. All right. We're going to count her down. Bobby is in at 20. So let's go. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, 
four, three, two, one, bid end. I have a shirt that says happy, but then I'd be singing, I'm H-A-P-P-Y, I'm H-A-P-P-Y. I know I am, I think I am, I'm H-A-P-P-Y. That's a VBS song. Did anybody else sing that when they went to? There was a lady in my neighborhood growing up. She always hosted a VBS at her house. And I think about that now. My mom and dad would just like go down to this strange lady's house with VBS. It's completely safe. But I'm like, you don't. I think about it now. And I'm like, they didn't know this lady. Come to my house, kids. I don't know. Times have changed. But bad things happened back then, too. All right. So we've got Debbie had a just in case of 25. Bobby has a just in case of 26. So Bobby, she charming coquette is coming to you for $26. Thank you very, very much. Let's do some Victorian glass, but we're going to keep it in like the spring, the Easter vibe to it. How about some beautiful? Look at this. This is satiny smooth. Vacation okay. Vibes. Look at that. That peach. Ooh. Ooh, we love it. We she love is it. ribbed. It is hand blown. Okay. Ruffle, nice. ruffle ponsel mark, which is. This is really echoey. Um, it's very much an indication, pardon me, an indication of its age. There are no chips. There are no cracks to it. Look at how the color on this is it. Again, thinking spring, thinking Easter. You've got some, just throw in some other pinks to it. Totally different eras, but it blends so well together. All right. Again, I think those Amazon tulips would look great in that purple. Oh, that, yes. Great. I mean, it is glass. It doesn't appear to have had, there's a little tag in it. It doesn't appear to have had any sitting water at any point. We don't see any cloudiness to it. What is that? There is an inclusion in here. Ooh, it's really interesting. Is it bubbles or is it ash? Let me look and see if I can. I can't really tell. We do have an inclusion right there. Okay. Just another indication of age. Uh, but there are no chips or cracks. We do have an inclusion. We're going to start her at $30. She's an old gal. I bought about more. About 1800s. I bought okay. Um, coming in at eight and a half inches Wait, tall. Wait, what did you say we're starting her at? I was at 30. Okay. At 30. So gorgeous ribbed, no chips, no cracks to her. Gorgeous pink down into an ombre of almost a white, a blush, if you will. I the will glass, be right back. Okay, babe. I don't necessarily want to call it satin glass, but it's more of like a matte feel. Like it's not super glossy. I just absolutely love this piece. She is beautiful. You are at eight and a half inches tall. Did I say that already? Eight and a half inches tall. That is from the base to the top of the rise, the ruffle here on this one. So whether you would choose to use it to put flowers in, keep it plain, keep it simple, totally up to you. But I love the ombre on that. Again, she is ribbed. You have a variety of different sizes on that. I think it is beautiful. Gorgeous. Well, the red hair, I mean, I actually do sprout red hairs myself. Be surprised. So I'm going to say there's no interest on this piece. Again, we started at 38 and a half inches tall. It is a at one point, a hand blown, okay, rough Pontel mark. There is an inclusion, indication of age, no chips or cracks. But if there's no interest on her, we're going to set her to the side and we're going to keep it moving. <clears throat> okay. Oh, yeah, I bought another box of the uh, Amazon tulips. Oh, I'm addicted. Okay, so um, I have two bunnies glass bunnies so i'm gonna be a, a, we're gonna do a choice so i'm gonna start them at 14 dollars choice ah and misty go and there oh richard said 
He's just going to have to keep that one. Okay. So the first one is, I wouldn't say is very Eastery because he's, I mean, I don't know. He's black. He's a heavy metal rock and roll, rock and roll Easter Bunny. So he is, I don't know the age of him at all, but he is solid glass. He's not hollow, but he doesn't have any markings on him. But he's got this like silvery mica. So he's rock and roll bunny. Rock and roll, rock and roll. And he's got like little hands. Look at his little fat, not fat, flat, little pinched hands. He is, um, I don't, I think his ears and his tail might be applied. But his little, his little um, hands and his feet have been pulled. Also, oh, and his little eyes and his nose have been applied. Also, if you don't know, on Netflix, Blown Away, the, the newest season, Mark and I just binged it the last couple of days. It's excellent. So if you like, if you're interested in glass blowing, it's a great, it's a great show. So this one's choice number one, Heavy Metal Bunny. And then this one is more like demure and, you know, it is a little art glass bunny with a little white on the inside, a little bit of a rainbow iridescence, little pinched ears. There's his little applied bunny tail and I'll put them together. So we've got like, I guess rock and roll bunny and easy listening bunny, maybe. But two choices there. Now the heavy metal bunny stands five and a half inches tall and the little white one is about two and a half inches tall. So one's like laying down and one's standing up. I, I don't know. I was kind of really drawn to the that that mica in there, that silvery with the black. It's just like a nice look there. And then this one has the rainbow iridescence with that little, uh, the, the white for it and stuff that's on it. So... Really, really. Yeah, it's a Madeline bunny. Heavy metal trinket queen. Bunny. All right. So choice between the two bunnies. All right. Here we go. Let's count it down. Bobby's in at 20. 20, 19, 18. There she is. 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one bid in. Hi, thank you, Paula. Jay just subscribed to it and then watch it and then unsub and then then cancel it. Michael, have you watched The Gilded Age? Yet? No. Dang no. it! You're missing out on life, Michael. You really are. It's good. I don't know if you and I think it was on Netflix, but there was a show back like several years ago called Harlots. Did you see that show? Ooh, it was good. Oh, yeah. Oh, and they were hard. It was about, they were hookers, Michael. They were hookers back in like Elizabethan, no, well, Victorian times. Mm -hmm. It's a good show. Did anybody else watch that show? It was good. Okay. Hi, Susan. All right, let's count it. Well, we don't need to count it. Did I already count it down? I believe, yeah. Okay. Bid in. Bobby. <laughs> Bobby, you get first pick at 20. Would you like Heavy Metal Bunny or would you like Easy Listening Bunny? You don't call them. Harlots is on Hulu. Hulu. It was good. It's good. I think there was two seasons. I think it was two seasons. All right. Heavy Metal. Bobby wants Heavy Metal. All right. Let me write that down. Uh, 22, Bobby. I'm looking. Well, somebody. Oh, look. I'm a little bunny. I'm, oh, here. Bobby let's has it. 14. Let's put it on the thing. I like. I only watched the first season of Bridgerton. I need to watch the. But the guy, the main character guy that was on Bridgerton, he was like a uh, hunk of hunk of, I don't think he was on the second season. I kind of watched it just for him. I have no idea who Bobby was bidding against. It's no. not, I'm not seeing it in the chat. Well, we'll just set it aside. We'll set it aside. I actually, I might, I might just bring him, he might show up in, uh, in my sale on Thursday. 
in the buyer's choice because he kind of fits into that weight category. Okay. Thank you, Bobby. All right. So we've got a piece of Fenton glass. Now listen. I know. Yeah. You know ah, man. The effect on this one, like it just, you know, sometimes it just happens. And it creates almost, it created almost an opaline effect on the, especially the base of it. And I just, I all love it. Um, there are no chips, there are no cracks to it. She is beautiful. I have not had this particular, do you see the glow on that? Look at the base where again, Ooh. you get almost an opaline effect to it. It is absolutely stunning. Now the density of the opalescent is only on the foot. Uh, otherwise, it's very controlled throughout the piece just to appear in the hobnails around the rim. And then again, on the finial, you get like that opaline effect to it. It is absolutely gorgeous. This piece of glass. Okay. Um, look at the bait. That is sick. All right. So it is seven inches tall from base to the top of the finial, seven inches tall. We're going to start her off at 25, if anybody is interested. I didn't do a diameter on this one. The diameter is four, six, four and three-fourths. Four and three-fourths diameter on that, okay? Look at the... Ooh! I love this piece of glass. Like I say, sometimes it's just... Oh... I love that. Oh, I love that. It is a color onto itself. It's gorgeous. But again, like the actual candy dish, it's just that light turquoise blue. Then in the hobnail, you see a little moonstone effect. You've got it controlled around the perimeter. Pardon me. That's pretty. I love well, Butterman's in it, says Kim. Oh, yes. Those pastels. Or what are those, um, the eggs, the different colored eggs? Oh, gosh, mm -hmm. I cannot even eat anymore. The, they have Reese Pieces Easter eggs. Those are the best ones, and I can't buy them anymore because I'll sit and eat the whole bag. But, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Cadbury eggs? Yes. I mean, that is so it. This with the milk glass, oh, 100%. But, again, Jelly you want to put it with, like, the pastels. Yeah. I absolutely love Robin eggs. Thank you, Mary. Yeah, yeah Robin eggs. Um, I love this piece. I think it is absolutely stunning. The mm -hmm. color treatment is just on point on this one. Um, it's super controlled. It comes out really elegant, very ethereal with almost, again, that opaline effect down here. I need to get a Catberry egg. I usually eat one a year at Easter. Oh, the gosh. Lord. What? Fenton and milk glass. The I got you, Bobby. I don't know. Um, this is I. I love this piece. I really, truly do love this piece. I think it is gorgeous. Wait until you see it in real life. You are going to fall in love with it. It just, like I said, it's just perfectly done. It is just so perfectly done. I love it. All right, seven inches tall. No chips. No cracks. No flea bites on it. Yeah, it includes around the rim. Let's go ahead and do the countdown. Thank you all for the bids. Really do appreciate it. Stephanie's got it at 33. She loves her blue. Let's do it. So 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and a bid end. It's I, resi gorgeous. I resisted. Oh, Joan has a just in case of 40. The oh, somebody has a just in case of 41. <laughs> ah, who's it gonna be? There's our bid end. Ah, it's Miss Stephanie at 40. Thank you, Kim, for the uh the bid end. Stephanie Lady, congratulations. This will go great with the blue swans. Thank you yeah. so much, Stephanie. Congratulations, lady. Stephanie, I'm looking forward to shopping with you in May. Also, I resisted the urge because, you know, I was just in Chicago. And since I've lost some weight, I'm really trying to be good about not like, you know, like I bought one box of Girl Scout cookies. Sorry, Girl Scouts. 
But I mean, we did eat the entire box, but Mark and I together. But I didn't buy any Garrett's popcorn. I know I said that I was going to, but man, I I just can't, I cannot help myself. I will eat in, until I'm sick. It's so good. Okay. My next item is very quirky and different, but I think that it's okay to be quirky and different. And if you've got a really fun little coffee bar and you need like a little spring set up for your coffee bar, this little girl will fit the bill. Or if you, if you want to keep jelly or jam in it, you could do that as well. But look at her. There's her breasts. We're going to show her to the side. I mean, you know, that's her. She's a bird. That's her breasts. Look at her. She's got her little kerchief. She's got little pink wings. She's adorable. And look at her big feet. She's got big duck feet. Now, what's cool about her, what I what I think is cool, is here is her little lid. No chips or cracks. And she has her little ceramic spoon. It's not plastic. It's ceramic. She doesn't have any chips or cracks. Isn't she cute? She's very, very kitschy. Gosh, if I don't break her. She's very, very kitschy. I love that she has her spoon. I mean, the spoon kind of did it for me. I was like, yes. And like, look at her little webbing on her feet. And look at her little face. I keep your jelly real good. I think that she's adorable. And I love the color. So she's got the pinks and the accents of blue. I am going to start her at 20. I did pay up for her a little bit. Oh, okay, I'm just, I just starting her at 20. I didn't put anything in, but that's the starting bid. You know, I couldn't resist her. I just thought she was really cute. And I'm like, she's like one of those things that if she doesn't sell, I don't know, just because, I mean, I just may have to keep her because I think that she's adorable. Isn't she cute, Karen? I love the color. She's just like very spring. So it just got me in a spring happy mood. But wouldn't that be cute if you were serving your coffee and you're like, oh, do you want some sugar? Let me go get my duck or goose. I don't know if she's a duck or a goose. Karen, um, uh, 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 Gillette. Sorry, I, got, I, was, I lost track of my Karens. Karen Gillette, the Canadians have, have uh, landed in our front yard. The Canadians are in our yard and it's driving Maybell crazy. So we have a pond across the street from our house and the Canadians like to hang out in there. So Mark's like, oh, the Canadians are back because Maybell just wants to, she wants to eat the Canadians. She does. Those Canadians, they come back every year. And they are pretty smart because they do, I, at least I've been told, I don't know if this is scientific or not, but like geese will migrate back to the same place to like lay their eggs and stuff every single year. So they come back every year. I don't know if that's science-y or if someone just told me that and I was like, wow, because that's how I am. You can tell me things and I'll believe you. All right. Buttermilk and cream is at 28. They do come. Okay. I thought, see, someone wasn't lying to me. They were actually telling me an actual truth. Okay. So that's really, really cute. So here pretty soon, we're going to have little baby Canadians in our yard. <laughs> okay. Buttermilk and cream is at 28. Yes. I have heard that about hummingbirds. And it is about time for us to get our hummingbird feeders out because they're about to be here. We need to get our feeders out. All right. Let's count it down. 20, 19, 18, 17. Oh, yeah. I'm sure, sure the Canadians would whip Maybell's butt. 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. Right, Susan? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bid, end. Hi, Shannon. Yeah, they, I mean, she really talks a big talk, Maybell does, but I am certain that the that those geese would school her a little bit, especially if their their babies were around, because they don't mess around. I wish that that fluffer pants would school Maybell from time to time. You know, you know, give her a little bat on the nose. Okay, buttermilk and cream, little goosey goosey's coming to you for twenty eight dollars. Thank you so very much. She's so cute. All right, I've got a book from for you. It is from 1937. 
Now, this is one of those ones where it's all about the subject matter, but okay. So it is The Complete Cheerful Cherub by Rebecca Mc, McCannon. Can. Can. Um, look at the cover. It's orange. All right. Oh, Pages oh, so are in really, I mean, clearly she was inspired by Rose O'Neill, right? Yeah. Uh, I do want to show you on the back, there is some dings. Okay. There are some dings to it. But otherwise, it's in really good condition. We do have. She would try. The library paper holder, the card thingy, majiggy. <laughs> but it is fully illustrated. They are short poems, and the oh cheerful tale. It looks like they're moving, like it's one of those flip books in a way. Uh huh. I mean, the entirety of it. Will you Every read this poem, one? We're gonna, of course, we're gonna start it at fifteen dollars. If anybody is interested. We'll just flip open to here. Okay. We've got four poems. It appears from what I could see, the entirety of the book has four poems, four separate illustrations, one illustration per. Uh, our first poem, okay, this is about self. Self-pity. I hate to be pitied by friends, yet at times, though, it passes belief. I pity myself to the point of almost enjoying my grief. Oh, oh, look, it's a little doodle. Self-pity. Okay. We have self-respect. To keep my honest self-respect is all I ever need to do. Because it stands what? to reason, man, I'll have respect from others, too. Well, good luck with that. But it's a good motto. Okay. We have self-reliance. I've had to stay alone for days. However, I am not complaining. I never realized before that I could be so entertaining. Oh, and look at that seductive little. Yeah. We have self-sufficiency. My goodness. Although I want a lot of friends, I rather like my fellow men. I'll be complete within myself. No, re no treachery can hurt me then. We've got things like sad moods, satisfaction, sanctuary, reason, real woe, rebirth, reciprocal. Oh, look at reciprocation. Aw. It almost looks like it's a cousin of Little Orphan Annie that didn't have any eyeballs. Uh, real woe. There's not a person in the world who hasn't had some woe. Why is it mine seems much more real than other people's, though? Because it's yours. Rebirth. Never let past bitterness make you cynical today. Each dawn the world is born anew. Let your heart be born that way. So this so is not a children's book because I don't think a child would, I don't even understand. Like, I can't comprehend those fancy things. Oh, yes, you could. Uh, no, no, Michael. Yeah. So again, we're copyrighted 1939, 37. Right? I'll be like, ooh. Uh, passionate poet, past and future, the past, pastoral. My good, there are some pretty deep ones in here. Uh, no regrets, nothing, oh shoot, nothing lasts. Misfortune is never a permanent thing. It passes as soon as it's here. And we give it most of the power it has by worry about it and fear. Uh, that I understand. Yep, don't, don't but, like live in dread. Good. Don't live in your dread. Music, music's charms, my acts, my best. Meals, mediocrity. I'm doomed to mediocrity. It's this that makes me sad. I find I can't be very good or even very bad. You're mediocre. We've got meekness. We've got longing. We've got loneliness. Am I the only one in life who always seems to stand apart? Or is it everyone who feels a little lonesome in his heart? We need an affirmations warning symbol. I got to put those in my videos because I uh, people will fast forward through them and that's fine. But I'm like, affirmation. Bring. I mean, there's some really irritations, introspection. Who read irritations? Irritations. All of life, all of life's greatest crisis. I have the strength to meet. It's little irritations that bring me sure defeat. So it's always, it's those little things that we're just like, but then when it's, you know, 
Robert yeah. hits the road. You got to, you know, get in. Yeah. Uh, hurry, hooray, hurt vanity. So again, all the all of the affirmations are in here. Thank you all for your bids. A lot of them in there too. That's a big there's, thing. There's oh, I gotta sneeze. Five hundred and twelve pages. Five hundred and twelve pages are in that one. Okay. So let's go ahead. Every page is illustrated. Four poems. Well, two poems per page. All right, let's do it. So 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bid end. But this would be really cute displayed if you've got like a little, your little babies because of that cover with the little baby on it. Emily, she's going to read these affirmations. Sunday afternoon, Sunday Emily. blues, sun magic, sunny days. Emily, you, you should read these affirmations in your Emmeline way at your live sales on Vamp. Kim, thank you so much for the bit and Miss Emmeline, lady, congratulations and thank you. Twenty six, the complete cheerful cherub is coming to you, lady. Thank you. Really, really cute. Really, really cute. Okay. I have I have a couple books, and they're going to be choice. I'm going to start. You should, Emily, and I'm there for it. I love to hear you talk. All right. So we're going to start these at $14 choice. And the first one, I've sold this book before, but, man, I love it. Kitty Cats. Now, this says it's from to Diane from Virginia. It is from 19... 37 and it's kittens I, they're doing construction or something out there i keep hearing things this is a saffield publishing company 1937 it is mother good cat's plan that isn't what i meant said mother good cat now these are all fern bezel pete illustrations i love fern bezel pete um they're all her um or illustrations. And these kittens were naughty. And the mother was like, oh, that's enough. That is enough. It says um, her, she had her children, Smokey, whose fur was gray, was playing with her ball of wool. Carrots, whose fur was red brown, was making faces in a mirror. And Angel, who was a pure white kitten, but just as naughty as she could be. She was waving her tail back and forth, trying to knock over a tall vase. They were being very naughty. So we've got Smokey, Angel, and Carrots. <laughs> Carrots was the orange cat. If you have an orange cat, you know what I mean about an orange cat. Amy, are you there? Queso, orange cats are like, I'm an orange cat. And I'm in charge. So then we've got Cop. And then look at Mother is like, she's just not playing around with these kittens. No fun, because there's no pictures on that page. And then Angel sat down in the snow and cried and cried and cried. They're just getting into a lot of mischief. And then um, th someone got into an accident and then they're, they were playing doctor. Okay. He looked at her tongue and blew the nose until both of them cried. So when Mother Good Cat came home, Smokey was in bed. But as soon as she saw there was a chicken and ice cream for dinner, she jumped up and they all had a fine meal. A fine meal. The end. That's kittens. All right. The second choice is a great one for Easter. It is Bunny's Book of Best Stories. Now, the, the cover of this book is great for your Easter displays if you like to use books for your displays. But the stories are all kind of random. So this one is also Fern Bezel Pete. Her illustrations are kind of once you get once you're looking for them, you can kind of point them out. They're kind of um. I don't want to say they're a little bit more rougher around the edges. Her illustrations are. And I'm just telling you what the three bears. I'm not going to mess around with that Papa bear. I mean, mama bear looks a little menacing. All three of them look like they could, you know, you don't want to cross them in a dark alley. Um, but we got the three bears. We've got Puss in Boots. We've got... Snow White and Rose Red. We've got Hansel and Gretel. Oh, look at the goose. Silly goose. 
Run from the witch. She's going to eat you. Jack and the Beanstalk. I love the gingerbread boy. That's one of my favorite stories. The gingerbread boy. I love that illustration of him. And then we've got the three little pigs and the three billy goats gruff. And finally, now little red hen, that back page is missing a little corner right there. So the little red hen, when I uh, taught preschool, boy, we did a good production of the little red hen. I had costumes and everything. It was great. So this is the choice between kids. No. Bunny's best. No. Bunny's book of best stories and kittens. Both Fern, Beasel, Pete illustrations. Um, the Bunny's book is from 1939 and Kittens is from 1937. But if there isn't any interest in them, we're going to set them aside and we'll bring them back another day. What is Fred? You my sugar, my sugar bill, bear Billy is an orange Maine Coon, 26. Mr. Flufferpants mm -hmm. is partial Maine Coon. They're chatty. They like to talk, those Maine Coons. They will like, rah, rah, rah. but an orange cat? My old cat was um, Conway Twitty Kitty, rest in peace. But he he was orange and white, but he could climb a tree like nobody's business and then kill all of them and eat their heads and bring their bodies into the garage. Anyway. Pleasant. Okay. That was nice. <laughs> I have got a set for you. I'm going, you're going to get both pieces. Okay. It is a porcelain. Um, this is so. Oh my gosh, I love the design of this, the colors, everything about this. I just, it's so it. Yeah. You're going to get both oh, of them. Oh, these are, oh my, oh my God. Those look like little feet. Don't they? Like little I ostrich mean, feet. Do you see this? The detail on this? Like, I love that. That is. It's beautiful. an oversized sugar. More than likely, yeah. um, while it does have a lid, I would think that this would be more for sugar cubes, given the oh. size of it. There is no mark on it, y'all. I tried desperately. <laughs> oh my God, Michael, really? <laughs> You've already broke I one thing this week, Michael. I know, seriously. I've tried to look up this particular pattern. I've come close with the pink, black, and gold, but not this exact shape. They are very, they are large. It you know, like, like I said, it, it, kind of looks like it, is, an, <laughs> right there. it <laughs> is an oversized sugar. So that way I am assuming, again, you can have um, sugar cubes on it. OK. And then you do have your creamer. There are no chips. There are no cracks. Check. The this has the feet, too. I love it's these. So absolutely unusual. Now I am going to start them at 40 and I'm going off of similar comps though. They don't have like the beat detailing. I think quite frankly, these ones are a little bit more elaborate and desirable. So I just went with ones that were, they looked like they could be the same manufacturer, but they just didn't, it was just like a black handle and then just the detailing on these. I, think that this is something really special. I do too. I, I kind of feel foolish. Got, can't lie with bringing these up for sale and not being able to tell you more about them because I do think quite frankly. Well, sometimes it's though that it's, it, sometimes we just don't have the time, you know, mm -hmm. to, like, you know, spend a lot of time researching it. But I agree, Karen, they are a little Disney-esque. Very Alice in it. Wonderland. Mm -hmm. I think that these are cool. So there are no chips, no cracks, no flea bites. There's no crazing. Um, I mean, these are really clean, y'all. Uh, this is certainly something that I those think- Those are porcelain. Could, yeah, they are. I mean, you can see how white yeah. they are. Like I said, very clean on the interior. There is a little bit of paint loss here to the gold gilding going around the creamer. Uh, if they were ever used, they were used lightly. I just, there, it's something really exceptional about them. Yeah. And again, it's just the detailing, the finishing of everything. So this just wasn't painted completely black. We have that pop of pink on there. Um, I just, I Here think they're bug. quite special. It would yeah. make a very, very merry unbirthday gift. Mm -hmm. Clearly we do have the lid, but just for the sake of me not dropping it and showing you a little bit better. 
Um, the sugar, I didn't do measurements on this. The sugar with the lid on, that is going to come in at six inches, y'all. Without the lid, the sugar bowl itself, that's four and a half. And from handle to handle, it's eight. So just the height on that is four and a half. And then the length from handle to handle here, you're yeah, at we, eight He didn't inches. know the maker of them. He didn't. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. Yeah. So again, it is for the set. They are porcelain. I do believe them to be, um, it could be German, I do think. Yeah. Or, or Austrian. Austrian. With that yeah. Or with Czechoslovakia. Could be. Could be. Now, I think that that creamer would look beautiful with some faux flowers in it. Like mm -hmm. my little Amazon tulips, put some little flowers in it. You could even take the lid off of that uh, sugar bowl and put some little florals in that too. I just, I visually, it, they're just, they have such strong aesthetics. I that agree. I just, you know. I don't blame you. I would have picked them up too. They're so, to. so cool. And that the creamer looks almost like a little water pitcher. Do you know what I mean? I mean, it's, it's large. Yeah. It definitely is meant for an actual party. But again, we started the set at 40. There are zero condition issues outside of there's a little bit of that gilding that is missing on the creamer. But That's if there's no point. interest, I'm going to set them to the side. We're going to keep it moving. Okay. Yeah, I agree. Those are gorgeous. All right. I'm going to start my next item at $15 choice. Now, I don't know. Some of you maybe hadn't seen this video, but I did a video where I went through a bag of ephemera. So, and I also went through on that in a, the video the next day, a bag of photographs. So, and... I'm going to, I'm going to start with the ephemera. So, and I'm going to pull up the picture because when I went, I went through the ephemera first and we found a bunch of letters in here from the Gershweiler family and they are um, from Indiana and there are just a ton of letters. Now there are a few letters that were from other other people, and I don't know if they were, you know, a member of the family. But they, there's a lot of um, like condolences cards and stuff because I didn't put them in order either, so I don't know. I didn't put them in like date order, but there are there's a stack of photograph or of letters from the Gershweiler family. We have a couple, and I love these little prayer cards here. Isn't that beautiful? The sweet heart of Mary be my salvation. I think that that's gorgeous. The sacred heart there. And then um, when I was going through the photographs, there were there was this in here, and we opened it up. This is William Gershweiler. This was his, and it talks about him being in the military. And there's his picture. So there he is, Mr. Gershweiler. And I've had people reach out to me and tell me that his where was he from? Beach Grove, Beach Grove, which is in the Indian Indianapolis area. I don't know if it was him or his brother was mayor of Beach Grove. So it was kind of cool. This was his mother. Her letters are in here as well. And there's a little picture in here of a little girl that we don't, we don't know, but it's in some of the family and it was tucked behind the mom's picture. And I, I was going to take these home and I was going to plant them, but then I, but then I felt weird about it. And I kind of felt like they all needed to stay together. So in the letters, there was these marigold seeds and on the back, Bill lost his sister. His sister had passed away. So there was a lot of condolences and people, letters from people talking about his sister and how she would light up a room and yada, yada, yada. So someone had, this was in one of the letters and it was plant a flower for sassy. So sassy was his sister. So this was included and the seeds are still in there. So I was going to plant them. I don't know if they would ever come up, but I felt weird about separating them from the ephemera. So I'm putting them. And let's be honest, would Misty ever get around to planting them? Probably not, but I'm going to keep them in with the ephemera. So that's choice. Number one is all of these letters from uh the 1940s and the 1960s in this pack here and then it, oh there's also an old school picture of mr gershweiler in that lot too but that was the one that when he was a soldier in world war ii and then i've got 
what choice number two is just a bunch of rant see they're flopping around everywhere random photographs i love her coat so we've got this lady this is all laminated there these no i think it's there's this guy I don't know, but he kind of is scary. He reminds me of the guy that went knocking from door to door and poltergeist, the old gentleman guy. You remember him? So we've just got some, oh, but I didn't keep, I said I was going to when I made this video. There are several pictures in here of Christmas pictures of Christmas trees. Now I have a little collection of random people's Christmas trees, but I'm gonna, I just gonna, I'm keeping them all in there. Maybe you guys can start your own little random people's Christmas tree. Here's another one. This one's a little darker. I Oh, and this one, that's Christmas morning. I like to collect the Christmas morning pictures. There is a couple of pictures of here. This is Ray. There's actually three pictures of Ray from 1944. There are three pictures of this handsome fella, his military photos. And then there's a couple more military photos, but Michael, wait till you see this one. This picture right here was, yeah, this was the whole military family. I didn't, I didn't, I looked, uh, Kim and I didn't see that name on there. I did look. This picture, that's someone's Christmas card. <laughs> look at Santa. Merry Christmas from Terry, Timmy, Tommy, and Tony and Santa. <clears throat> so that's a nice little collection. If you guys are like, if you want a weird collection, of ephemera collect Chris random people's Christmas pictures. I have a collection of that. Isn't that funny? Look at her. She's like this girl right here. All these kids are acting. Well, not him. He's like, I ain't closing my eyes. And that girl right there, she's just getting ready. She's getting ready to start laughing. But that was from the Rose and Herb Huff with her kids from 1956. That was her Christmas card. So there's just random photographs. Oh, man. He's just kind of scary. That guy is. Sorry, sir. Um, there's some uh, probably communion photographs in here. So it's just random photographs. A lot of people craft with them and stuff. Instant relatives. So we've got choice is the photos or the ephemera. Bobby is in at 17. So let's go ahead and start counting them down. It's kind of fun. It was a fun video to make. Um, and I actually bought a scrapbook from Many Measures. Uh, it was some one scrapbook. I'm going to do another video on that, on that scrapbook. But all right, let's count them down. Bobby's in at 17. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. Hi, Nicole. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bid end. I love ephemera and it's just kind of fun. And I like to look at the pictures and like look at everything in the background, like all their little tchotchkes that are on their shelves and like their curtains. And I don't know, it's a little voyeuristic. I hope that one day someone has all of my childhood photographs and was like, Ooh, look at her. She's creepy. You know, I mean, I want the moment that someone stops saying your name, then you're forgotten. I want you want people to continuously say, you know, bring up your name in conversation long after you're gone. Keeps your memory alive. All right, Purdy is in at 18. There is the bid. And okay, Purdy, so which lot do you want? I did put all of Mr. Gershweiler's photos and everything that I found in the other pack in here. So this is the Gershweiler's and then this is just random people. So let me know if you want the photos or the letters. Photos or the letters. I know it's just kind of fun to see all the background stuff. Oh, I yeah, I agree, Ladybird. Put your write a little note on the back of you. But who even does photographs anymore? Honestly, like who prints photos anymore? All right, Purdy, they are both coming to you for eighteen dollars each. Thank you so very much. All right, so obviously tulips are referenced a lot, but we actually yeah. have a tulip vase here for you, though it is in a beautiful Victorian cased glass. Look at how thick the casing on oh this. Oh my gosh, yeah. I don't know. Down here, y'all, there is a post-it note. Look, somebody 
elected to take a post-it note and curl it and put it in here. I don't know why they done did that. I have not been able to get it out, but there is a post-it note that is stuck in this vase. It probably said like Aunt Martha's 19 blah, blah, blah. Uh, you know what I mean? There are no it's chips. There are no cracks to it. Um, it is absolutely beautiful. I am going to start this one off also at 30 if there's any interest. We are coming in at eight and a half inches. Eight and a half inches tall on that one. It, yes, it very much does look like I Dream of Jeannie's Bottle. It does. I love it. It creates almost like a melon effect yeah. on it. I think you it is it. absolutely beautiful. Whoever so, gets it all find the buried treasure too. Um, so I think it's a beautiful shape. It's got like that barbasol kind of circus like wow. again, thinking about spring um, for Easter. I think this would be absolutely beautiful. Putting in the actual tulips or daffodils, um, a lot of it because you have softer stems. That's why you have the elongated neck here. So that, that way the flowers <laughs> don't wilt over for you. So. It says, do Again, not do it under penalty of law. That's what it says. It is uh, eight and a half inches. You have no chips, no cracks on that one. Excellent condition. Again, about 1800s. Beautiful optic effect on it. Very much reminds me of a melon rind down there. It's just waiting yeah. right. So I don't see any interest on that one. So we're going to set that one to the side and That's we will beautiful. keep it moving. That would be really pretty with like a faux fern, you know, in it as well. I think that would be really, really pretty. All right. My next item is I love this thing so much. I don't know. I, I, I just do. I have sold the gingerbread. There's like a gingerbread boy and girl, but this one is the bunny. Look at him. He's so cute. Now, he is made by Bijou or Bijou. I never know if I'm saying that right, but it is a musical bunny. But let me tell you, there will be random parts in the day that the music will start. It doesn't, it doesn't start when you want it to, but all throughout the day, you'll hear it various times. So I don't know about that. So if you hear music later on, it's this bunny. Um, it does have its original tag. Oh, I'm starting it at $25. Let me see. Yeah, bug, look away. This is, it's Bijou or Bijou Boutique. Oh, let me get it to where you can see it. Boutique. Oh, it started. And it is a oh, Bijou toy design, New York. I don't know. You'll hear it at random times, but it very much resembles like the gingerbread boys, but it's the bunny. Now he's older and he is a little discolored. He is a little yellowed. He doesn't smell or anything like that, but I am a, um, what's that word called? When you, you leave it how it is, you don't do, I don't do anything to it. I leave it how I, how I found it. And I would leave him just as he is. But I think he would be cute in a um, in your Easter displays. If you've got like vintage Easter baskets and just put him in. See, there he goes. Oh, there's Will William. William loves him too. We love our little, we love our seasonal pieces. He's a little floppy, but not too bad. But I'm telling you, that music will just start playing at random times in the day. I don't know if you can hear that, but I don't know what song it's playing either. I've never been able to make out the tune. Purist or lazy, Poppy. <laughs> Let's not say lazy. I like to just keep it because that's the story. You know what I mean? Like maybe this person smoked <laughs> and that's their story and it's a little yellowed, but it, it doesn't smell like smoke or anything. It doesn't have any funky smells to it. All right. It maybe is a little haunted, but that's okay. My building is haunted and I'm fine with that. So William is in at 30. I'm going to go ahead and count it down. 20, he's playing music. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bid end. I mean, how'd you like to wake up with that face looking at you and standing over your bed playing music? 
Hey, William. I'm glad you bought me. Doing the bunny hop. All right. I know. I, I, you, it would, well, the music box is kind of temperamental anyway. All right, William, he is coming to you for $33. Thank you so very much. Haunted and all. All right. We got a set of five. You're going to get all five of them. They are, in fact, the hand painted Russian nesting Ooh. dolls. Now, the beauty is we do have a signature, which, bless, I cannot read. But we do also have our Made in Russia. They are hand turned. That's why you're seeing that little Love divot it. down kind of in there. We're There is the set of five. You're coming in. The tallest is at five. And we go all the way down to one inch. That's our smallest one. Oh, I love, okay. I love this. I'm going to start this set off at 20. Um, while their base is a navy, I think with the bright pinks, the yellow, the yellows, hello, the greens, it really does allow for more of a spring decor. So yes. up close and personal. Um, we do have like little red glitter points to them, which I've never seen. Awesome. Uh, we do also have some silver in there, which again, I've jump. never seen those. Um, thank you, Joan. I really appreciate it. The pattern does, of course, go all the way around the nesting doll. Now, I, I am one it. of those people, like, I have got to have the painting match up perfectly. So, again, there's our tallest. She is at five inches. Then we have our second gal here. Michael, is that is it blue or black is the primary color? This is a navy. Yeah, this oh, is amazing. So pretty. It's so deep that it does look like a black, okay? And again, floral detailing on the back. I just, I love these. I never get tired of seeing them. We've got our third little lady here. Clearly, they are all coordinated. Whoops. And they're all I, I have to see, like, I'm like, oh, that's not perfect. <laughs> <laughs> no, they've got to be perfect. There is number three. I'm slowly. Number three is a little sticky, though she does. Number three is definitely the middle child. She's got that <laughs> attitude. We've got number four getting smaller and smaller, though still hand painted. They're gorgeous. They're gorgeous. And then last but definitely not least, we've got our itty bitty. And she is number five. She is one inch tall. One inch tall. Okay, but the complete set, again, <laughs> it is signed here on the bottom and initialed with our Made in Russia sticker. Again, that base paint, it does look black. It's definitely coming across as black, but it is, in fact, um, oh, what you would call it, navy. So here's our little stacked inside, and we're going to go ahead and stack them up in together, but it is the complete set of five. Let's go ahead. And do thank you, ladies. I really appreciate that. Um, I can't believe I was able to get it at such a steal, too. So let's go ahead. There they go. They're all in there. Oh, and let's yeah. start the countdown. So 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, oops, two, one, and a bid end. And again, five on your tallest, one. Does that, that does not look like five inches. It is, it's five. Five and one. It's a big wow, difference. It's a big difference. There is our bid end. Thank you, Miss Kim. I appreciate you, lady. Miss Joan had her just in case of 50. So Joan girl at 48, congratulations and thank you. They are coming to you. Thank you everyone for your bids. Beautiful, beautiful. I love them. Also, I have, you know, though too, there are, I have seen several sets of the Russian nesting dolls available on Vamp too. So you can easily go over to Virtual Antique Marketplace and um, put in a search and you can just type in Russian nesting dolls and they'll pop up. Um, so if you're interested in those, there's more over over on there. I've shared them a couple times, on, or at least one set 
on my Instagram and they did sell. So there, I know that there are more over there as well. All right. My next item is an April, a Napco April angel. Sorry, girl. Easter's in March this year. Next year, it can be in April because she's got that little creepy creeper bunny right there and her little basket of her Easter age eggs. Isn't she cute? And she's in perfect condition too. She's got her little pink rose in her hair with no chips or cracks, all of her spaghetti. She's got her Napco sticker on the bottom. I'm going to stick my little finger in her hole so I can hold her like that. And I'm going to start her at $18. I love, I love, I love the ones like Michael had the February ones. I really like the ones that have something in their hands that's representing of their month. Um, I just sold a March one on the last Blitz sale and she had like a little shamrock and a little top hat. So I really like to find like the Halloween, the Halloween ones are extra special to find. Um, but she is March and I love her little eggs in her basket. Her wings and her halo are all still intact. No chips are on. Oh, but couldn't that be horrible if I couldn't get my finger out of her hole? <laughs> that wouldn't have been good. But the bottom of her dress has little pink accents on it as well. So she's really, really nice. And again, like the Michael, like, like the Michael, like Michael's had gold sponge painting on her dress and she has that as well. Very, very sweet faces on these little girls. Lori is in at 19. Love them. All right, let's go ahead and count her down. Here we go. Okay, Karen is taking over for Kim. Thank you, thank you, Kim. Mwah, mwah, mwah. All right, let's go ahead and count her down. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, one, bid, end. I know I saw her on my shelf and I'm like, oh, we better sell you, girl, because your, your month is coming very soon. Can you believe it that we're almost in April? That's crazy. Th this year, I mean, January was 15,000 weeks long, but after January, it, this, this year has gone by really, really quickly and it's tax time. Damn it. Okay. So Lori, okay. So, oh, okay. There is the bid in. Thank you so much, Karen. So we had, Lori had a just in case of 23. Tanya had a just in case of 25. So Tanya, she is coming to you for 24. Thank you so very much. This is one of my favorite things of the sale. And you're going to get this set. You're getting both of them. Uh -huh. I can't believe I'm selling them. But okay, I'm going to do it. Ooh, okay. Okay, let's see. I know I loved these two. I'm so surprised you're selling them. They are, y'all, listen, they're in their satin binary. They're oh, absolutely adorable. Uh, like a little Marie Antoinette. They're like a Victorian couple, clearly. Okay. Now, the clothes, there is no label on them. I was a little invasive and I did check. I mean, his little pantaloons are elasticized. They can come off, but I mean, they're really well done. Like, look at those hand-painted faces. He's even got his little braid back here. Uh, it could be a George and Martha. I, I don't, I don't know. I just, I see them as a little like French couple personally. Yeah. Now he is coming in look at the boots even. I mean, they're With really, the really good. And the colors. Okay. I love the colors. She's in her pink. Oh. And again, they have like the matching hair. Okay. She even has her little stockings and her uh, boots. She even has underwear. Okay. So they're Isn't really light? good. Now, I want to tell you, I was able to significantly lighten it. And I do think that um, it could be lightened even further. When I purchased them right well, let's see, right there. These lines were much darker. Now, in order, I didn't have enough time to continue it because what happened was I got it wet and I didn't want to saturate the face. Um, oh, so you have yeah. to do it in stages. She has been completely dried. Um, so it does clearly need to be done a little bit further. 
I really wanted to make sure it is not a set in stain. So this was significantly darker than what you were seeing here. What I do wanna let you know is if you are interested, you do wanna lighten it, please make sure to go in slowly, get it wet, lighten it. You will see the water, it will create a watermark. Once you see that, stop. Don't keep going. You're gonna have to be patient with it, but it is not a set stain, but it is still currently there, okay? Oh, I love them. They're so 12, good. 12 and a half inches. They are so stinking cute. I'm starting the set at 25, if anybody is interested. Outside of that, there are no other issues. Yeah, don't I take mean, your sub. <laughs> she even has, I don't know if you can see it, but it's almost like it's faux darting to kind of create hips on oh, her yeah. there. But she even like her little lace detailing. She's got her little rhinestone. Sure. Uh, there are her shoes. Oh, golly, she's so got cute. the little tie over, obviously making them a little bit more feminine. Whereas his are more like the sandals. But otherwise, they're pretty much the same. And they are finished on the bottom. Man. They're just, I just really special. Those painted faces and the blushing on them, they're great. We're so cute. We are. Um, these, I think, are... It's like a pressed aluminum. It's not like super industrial or anything, but it is a metal that's like aluminum. Um, their booties, I just saw this. I didn't even realize it, but back here, I don't know if you can see it, but they are actually pinned ah. onto the wall. I did not note that before just now, but um, just the detailing. Look at him. Bridgerton! Bridgerton! I mean, these two are stinking cute. Again, the colors, they went really well with today's um, sale. So, uh, oh, they're again, perfect. He's 12 inches. She's 12 and a half. She's picking up that extra half inch because of the hair. Like I said, she does have. I wonder if it's uh, Napoleon and Joseph. Coloration, but it really, and I'm being very sincere with you because I was like, I got a really good deal on them. And I was like, well, even if it's stained, still a good price. Probably somebody will want them. He alone would be worth it. But I did, yeah. I mean, it's it's easily half as light as it was. So it's not a set in stain. Um, at first I was like, you could almost take a piece of yarn and glue it across so that she would just have like a little bit of a bang kind of coming down. But I was like, let me try to lighten it first. But yeah. Ah, uh, Jean! Like, oh, Jean, girl. Jean! Jean, today at four o'clock, I'm dropping my Universal Monsters video just for you. Wow. They're precious. I've never seen them before. I'm really glad that you guys are digging them. I really They're do. Great. Really, I'm, I'm pleased with that. So, well, let's go ahead and start the countdown. Precious little couple. Oh, Ooh, I'm a lead girl. I love um, her. It is satin. It is satin, not silk, by the way. But it's really you smooth. You just don't see them. I mean, it's things like this that you just do not see very often. I think that they're fabulous. All right, let's do it. Here we go. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bid end. Mail C. Oh, good. Mail C, Mail C. Jane. Jane. Now, listen, Jane knows oh. her dolls. Okay. She's a doll collector. Oh my gosh. If they had a carriage, that would be so good. All right. Thank you so much. We got Miss Kim doing, and now I'm going to, Kim, wait. Kim, are you back with the bit? She's back. Like, She's oh, back. Okay. We just had to step away for a moment. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, it's <laughs> happening again. All right. Oh, so, uh, 91, Jean, congratulations and thank okay. you. The little cuties they are coming to. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Jean. Yeah, those are really great. And Jean, I opened up something from you today. That's going to be in Thursday's video. You are my, Jean's my fairy godmother, if you guys didn't know that. She is my fairy godmother. And on the Misty Show today at four, 
Universal monster blind bags. Oh, they're so good. Okay. Stephanie was asking me if I had green glass. And I do didn't you? Now it doesn't glow. If this glowed, it would be even more epic. But this is Jefferson glass. The only I don't know. I don't want to say that this is an issue, but there is a little piece of ash or frit or something. Something got in the way when this was being made, and because you can kind of feel it, like a little bump there, you know, that's into the glass. I thought it was like a smudge, and I was like, but it won't come off. I love this piece. I've actually held on to it for a little while because I've been using it um, in the background to hold things. Like I put the little bee in it and then, you know, you can put your, I think this is perfect little pedestal holder for Easter eggs, put some Easter grass in there and your marble eggs. I love this. Isn't this beautiful with this green uh, milky glass? doesn't glow um and i did oh, you know what here i'm gonna start it at twenty dollars and it is three inches tall and about nine inches nine inches in width but it doesn't have any chips or cracks i don't know this pattern i meant to look it up and i forgot but um but it is a gorgeous piece of, of antique glass. And again, I think that this is a perfect base pedestal for put a little bit of Easter grass in there and like your alabaster eggs or even, even little, you know, your plastic Easter eggs, the colors in them, I think would be really, really pretty in this green. I do have a couple of these Nestler eggs. Oh, wait, look, let me put these in there. I got this from Dollar Tree. I'm just wanting to show you the colors, but you see what I mean with those pastel springy colors? I think it's great. I also think that it would be really nice too. I know some people will find like bird's nests that have fallen from the trees and stuff. So you could put that in here too with a cloche on top of it would look nice too. But I think that's really, really pretty. And I love those little details down there around the rim. So just a really, really pretty piece. All right. Miss Stephanie is in at 20 and let's go ahead and start counting it down. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bid end beautiful piece and very versatile and i'm thinking like at christmas time with your red um uh shiny brights in here too because the green and the red is just a great color combination at christmas time there is the bid end all right michelle had a just in case of 27 but stephanie had a just in case of 30 so stephanie it's coming to you for 28 dollars. thank you so very much all right, I got a, a choosy choice for you. It is going to be between two planters. One I think is Napco. The other one is Napco because I have a stamp. But it is a choice. You could choose one. You could choose both. Equally cute, but for different reasons. They're oh, sleeping. Them. Well, I guess the one's not sleeping. This one over here, the little boy. He's sleeping with his little banjo. Now, I do have to let you know, right here is the beginning of a hairline. Oh. Mm. Okay. So that is there. That is there. Blast. Let me tell you what. When I tell you I had to scrub this thing, I had to scrub this thing. Um, he is coming in at four and a fourth inches tall. Four and a fourth. Like I said, I you think know. it's Napco. I cannot be uh, for, for certain it doesn't have a sticker on it. Our crescent, this one, look, gosh, <laughs> look at that little I baby. Know, that. I love it. It reminds me of Emma when she was a baby. I love the pastel stars. I mean, it's got like a full 80s vibe to it. Now, this one does is, in fact, Napco. We have the sticker and the incised mark on it. Four and a half on that one. We'll start choice at 12. Start choice at 12. Again, our sleeping, we'll just call this one sleep and this one moon, or you could choose both if you would like. Our sleeping is at four and one fourth inches tall. And our, uh, so it's a little bit shorter than our moon one here and the moon 
is coming in at four and a half. Okay. They are both little angel planters, different vibes, but yet the subject matter is still the same, right? A little bit more traditional. Yeah. Right. Could be left in though too. It could be. Uh, could be. It could be. I'm like you. My gut is telling me it's Navco, but mm -hmm. where's the name or Amy when you need her? I do love the cloud sculpt on this one, how yeah. it literally comes out and hugs the little sleeping angel. So again, there is the beginning of a hairline. It's right here. Whoops. Right there. But otherwise, really good condition. This thing, like I said, oh God, it was filthy. It really was. But I couldn't leave him behind. No, he's adorable. Right? A little blondie. Adorable. That's our unidentified. But that'll be sleep or sleeping if we want to put in there. And then we have our little moon girl. Look at her with our little pink bow. She reminds me of Emma. We used to do Emma's hair like that with one little ponytail that stood straight up like that when she was a baby. That's what she reminds me of. And that definitely is a nap yep. coat. Okay. This one's more matte glaze. Um, the other one, well, you know what? It's kind of like the moon has more of a glossy glaze. The girl herself is a little matte. Whereas the cloud, high glaze, and then the boy, he is matte. So He's cute. it's for choice, or you could do both if you would like. Four and a quarter on our sleeping and four and a half on our moon. Those are your two choices. Thank you for the bids. Let's go ahead and do the countdown for you. So here we go. Uh, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, oh. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and a bid end. So sleep and moon. Or you could do both if you want. It's totally up to you. Oh, KBE. Oh, oh. There is our bid end. Thank you, Miss Kim. KBEE, -E, lady at 21, do you want crescent or moon? Or do you want sleep? Do you want both? Totally up to you. And then Julie, you are on backup. Oh my gosh. I'm totally not plugged in. I'm down to 5%. Five five percent. Don't disappear. Don't disappear. Go quick, quick, quick. I got to plug in. <laughs> <laughs> Sleeping. Sleeping. You got it. Okay, 21. And KB. Then... E -E. <laughs> and thank you, lady. I appreciate you. Wait, what is going on with my there we go? Julie. Julie. Julie, do you want moon for 21? And if she says so... no, then Joanne is in at 20. Okay, Joanne, you're on backup, girl. So Julie at 21, but Julie, you can you can pass if you wanted the one that KBEE -E picked. And then uh, Julie Girl. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> Michael's gonna go plug in. All right. So my next item, and I'm so sorry that I keep yawning. I I just ordered some stuff that's supposed to be pretty really pretty, like a natural. I cannot sleep. So I I'm struggling in the sleep department. So I'm just like constantly yawning all the time, it seems. Okay. And I know it's, everyone tells me it is part of the whole menopause thing, even though I'm post menopause, but it's still being cold all the time at night and sleeping, not sleeping. You all know what I'm talking about. Okay. So the, ne my next item is I've got two of these Nestler eggs. Well, this one I know is Nestler. This one is still sealed. So I'm assuming, but I don't know. Now I will open it if you want me to, but I don't know. So this one is, and they do have the design, the same design on both sides. So we've got uh, really angry looking bunnies. Look at him. He's like, I'm smoking my pipe. And he's like, yeah, he is. And it stinks. I love, I love the smell of a pipe. I do. But these are made, this one's made in Germany and is a Nestler egg. Great condition on this one. So this one's choice number one. Choice number two, I I don't know if it's a Nestler. I it's sealed. You can see it still has the there's no nothing inside it. It is empty. 
but it is sealed. Now, a very much happier bunny on this one with his little Easter card that he's delivering. The little bird up there. Relax him. Ooh, Shannon, send me send me a... Uh, um, <laughs> yeah, Michael, it does look like Michael's passed out. Michael, are you okay? <laughs> Michael, wave your hand. Are you okay? I think he's he's frozen, but it does look like he's... He's falling over. Okay. So this one is also the same on both sides. So, oh, I didn't even do it. Starting at $14, choice. Nope. Okay. So choice number one is definitely a Nestler egg made in Germany with the angry bunnies. And then choice number two, a happier bunny, more friendly. I, I wouldn't mind passing, you know, walking past him on the street, but this one is sealed. So I don't know. I don't know. I know that they, and I didn't realize this too until I bought one, but there, and I have a huge one. I've got a big one that's going to be available during the vamp sale this afternoon at five. But Erskeberg, they made them too. Nestler and Erskeberg. So I know I'm not saying that correctly, but they made them too. So I don't know who made this one because it's sealed. All right. So, oh, Trendelin 20. Zone is at 22. Okay. Okay, thank you. I ordered as like Mrs. Miss Fisher something something. I it's all over my Instagram, but it's supposedly it's it works pretty good. An all natural thing because I take Ambien and I've taken Ambien for years. I haven't had any of the weird side effects, but I really don't want to take it. You know what I mean? I want to take something more natural, but I'm just I'm I'm struggling, and so I'm 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 trying a lot of things. Okay, so Tracy is in at twenty three. I'm gonna go ahead and start counting it down. And here we go. And we're at 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. Oh, did you get these when you were a kid, Heidi? 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bid end. Now, I've heard of people taking, and I've taken Ambien for probably five years but you become dependent on it. And I don't want to, and I just don't want to continue to take something like that, but I got to sleep. I will wake up 25 times a night. And I know Mark keeps telling me that it's because I edit videos every, every night. And it's like, I think it's probably the screen time, which it probably is, but when, when else am I going to do it? I got to do it at night. Okay. So we've got, there is a bit in, I'll say, so Tracy, No, I've had that Liberace. It's Liberace and Mae West. <laughs> he kind of looks like Dracula, though, in that cape. All right, Tracy, which one would you like? Would you like the one that we know is Nestler or the sealed one? Angie Bunnies. All right, that one's going to Tracy at 23. Thank you so much, Tracy. You have an E in your name. I remember that. And then, um, Zona, Zona, you can pass if you wanted the other one, but you, are you interested in Friendly Bunny at 20? And if you, if you pass, that is fine. Um, and then Tracy, I guess we'll go back to you, Tracy. You could have this one at 22 as well. Did you open it? Zona, Zona wants it at 22. What? Did you open it? No. Do you want me to open it, Zona? Is there, does it feel like there's something in there? No, there's nothing in it. Oh, well then. I mean, I'll, I'll leave it sealed, that. Zona. Oh, she said, yeah. wait, Zona, do you want me to open it to see if it's, if it's Nestler? But I mean, I don't, I won't, I don't have to, but I don't, I don't know if it's Nestler because it's, it, it's sealed. Okay. Michael, we'll go to you now. I'm glad you're back. Well, I'll, right. I'll let you Me open too. it, Zona. I'll let you open it. That gives you a little treat of something to do. Michael, you kind of look like you fell over there for a minute. We were like, Michael, wave your hand because you were sideways. Uh, does it, when it turns aside, I was your convinced. Was I was like, oh, my God. I'm going to restart it, and this phone is going to try to do a system update. <laughs> Y'all know how it, like, yeah. and it, you can't get out of it. I was convinced that's what, anyway. So I don't have Let's sleep see. apnea. I don't have sleep apnea. Um, I've got another planter. I'm going to start this one off at just $10. Look, I don't know who it is, but I absolutely love... Oh, my God, it's a hobbyist piece. How about I just 
<laughs> the light hit it. AR from 1975. Oh, yeah. I love so, hobbyist pieces, though. They're my favorite. I don't. AR. And up here, let's see if I can oh, get it no. in the light. Well, I, I like the nighttime gummies. Though, those. Right up there, it's 75. I don't want to take those all the time either. I'm shook. Oh, that's beautiful. That it does like not Royal look Copley. like a hobby. Does that look like a hobbyist piece to it you? It looks like Royal Copley. Doesn't it? I thought it was when you were showing it earlier. <laughs> I can't believe that. If the AR 75, it is under the glaze. I mean, they did their thing on that. Look at that. Uh, it is five inches tall, five inches tall. So it is a ceramic heart planter with your little floral detailing here. Um, it is the same on the front as it is on the back. It's just simply inversed. Now, there is some discoloration to the interior. I do believe that it was, It's well, it's obviously been used as a planter, though it hasn't created crazing, thankfully. Um, I agree. Like somebody in ceramics class definitely did their thing. Yeah. Like they, they had the airbrush. They busted out the hairbrush or the hairbrush. The airbrush or something. <laughs> Maybe that um, was their secret weapon, the hairbrush. This, I mean, this is screaming spring. It's screaming Easter to me. You know, I wouldn't put a lot in it. I would just keep it cute and simple. Well, Michael, you probably want to put there we go. Don't do a lot with it. I think it's darling little piece. Um, good for Valentine's Day, too. I mean, hey, why not? Again, talking about it, put those pens, yeah. those pencils in there. Bust out your scissors. Put those in. Maybe you've got a highlighter. Put that in there. It's just, it's super elevated. Y'all, yeah. this is what I use for mine. <laughs> I like that. I right? did, oh, well, I ordered something from. Oh gosh, where so, did I get it from? There it is. A planter. You have a craft I'm room. Some makeup brushes that I got. Oh yeah, <laughs> Mother's Day. A sewing room, a hundred percent. Where am I going? Great idea. So, or you could use it as a planter or a vase, or just as a decorative sure. accent. Totally up to you, ladies. Thank you both for your bids again. AR did that in 1975. I can't believe I didn't see that. I mean, it's hey, that's what I under saying. the glaze. It's under the glaze. So five inches tall, front and back are the same, just inverted. No tips or cracks to it. There's not even any crazing to it. So uh, let's go ahead and do the countdown. So here we go. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and bid end. You know, I got to call out Samsung on it though, because we started this sale at 85% the battery. Okay. That was three hours ago. How do I go for, for three hours? And that 5% went like that in less than a minute. Yeah. That's some crazy business. All right, there is our bid end. Complaint over. Appreciate it. Thank you, everyone. Miss Joan Lady at 16, the heart planer from AR is coming to you. Thank you. I think that's really pretty. Really pretty. Okay. This is the, I love this. And I know that there are fellow weirdos out there that will like these too, but this is not something that you see very often. I did get this, these little guys at, countrywide and a uh, countryside antiques when i was shopping with enamor amy not everybody has these on their shelf this is a gator band alligator band now i put the guitar player in the center because we all know that that's he's you know, the guitar player is usually front and center but we've got two twins gators and they're playing their little harps so there are two uh twins that are they're playing their little harps focus Look at their little backs. I mean, these are different. And then we've got the guitar player. He's front and center. And then we've got this guy's look like he's given some side eye. Mm hmm. Yeah, the guitar player. He's playing the. What is that called? Oh, 
No. Accordion? Is that the accordion? I think so. Yes. And then he's playing the fiddle. It's a gator band. Okay, so you know what? I This is the kind of things that make me happy. Not very many people have a gator band on their shelves. So, you know, you can be really unique. Oh, I'm going to start them at $14. $14. You're going to get them all because the, the band has to stay together. There is no Yoko Ono in this band. They are all staying together. Yoko Ono's no, there's no screaming in this band. They all have their mouth. Why though? They do all have, no. These three have their mouths open, but the accordion and the, well, they have to concentrate on their instruments. These are the singers, apparently. The singers have their mouths open. Ah, gator band. Isn't that great? I just think that these are fun. Fun, fun, fun. Nobody, no, not a lot of people have got a gator band on their shelves. That's what I like. That's what I like about them. All right, Kims, you are in at 14. I'm going to start counting them down. Here we go. Wait, before I do, though, I will say that they are about two and a half inches tall each. Here we go. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bid end. That one right here, the fiddle play, no, the accordion player, he's giving them all the stink eye. Look at that face he's making. Mm, so cute. Kim's, Kim's, you're special. You are getting the gator band for $14. But guess what, Kim? In appreciation of you liking weird things, you win the next giveaway. So Gator Band goes to Kim's, K-Y-M-Z, Collectibles. Guess what, Kim? You get the next. Hey, Angela, you will get a Thrifter Junker Vintage Hunter sticker. You're going to get a Silly Goose Crew member official sticker. You're going to get one of Ann Eckhart's Squirrel uh, stickers and a black light keychain. And guess what else, Kim? You are going to get your very own emo. I'm not going to shake this one too, but I'm not going to pop his eyeball off. You'll get your own emotional support pickle. He, you can stand him up with your bank. Look at his face. <laughs> and coming to you, Kim. I love them. All right. Thank you so much, Kim. They're all coming to you. Okay. So I have a piece of Fenton glass. But this one, it's a little bit darker than yeah. your traditional spring. Yes. But I love the shape and the sculpt of it. There are no chips. There are no cracks on it. We do have our Fenton sticker on there. Okay. This one does have, in fact, the Fenton mark with the eight. So we know that it's 1980s Fenton. There we kind of go. That is an eight underneath there. So beautiful blue. Almost a periwinkle. Look at that shade. Ooh, that's I a love this color. Now this is going to be like a big bloom, just because you have such a look at that. Kind of like a throwback hallmark to Art Deco vibes to it. We're going to start this one off at eighteen. If anybody is interested, again, no chips, no cracks. Great Art Deco vibes to it. I think you could yeah. get away with it in a mid-century home. If you have more of a mid-century flair, I think that you could get away with it. Um, you are coming in at seven and a half inches tall, seven and a half inches tall, and then a diameter on that one. And a diameter is coming in at seven. Look at that. Is that not gorgeous or what? That's beautiful. Uh, large blooms, because you have such a narrow bottom to it um, and such a wide that if you did, Keeping in mind the stickers there, but um, the large blooms you could do like oh my gosh, do some hydrangeas oh, in would, here. That would be stunning, please. especially if you did like a white or those white ombre into blue, the blue ombre into pink. This vase is bottom heavy, so you can get a very large bloom without it, you know, with water without fear of it tipping over. Use it as a display piece. I have some dried hydrangea i'm not going to move them because they have a tendency to 
their petals flutter yeah. everywhere, but the dried hydrangeas in here would be gorgeous also. Peony or you could do it synthetic. Mm -hmm. Or, um, oh, what are those big bloom, dog, not dogwood, but a, uh, um, mm, 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 starts with an M. Mm. I don't know. But Lilac would go great too. Again, just a big bloom flower in here or an arrangement of those or nothing if anything else it is an absolutely gorgeous color with a great shape to magnolia it. that's it karen magnolia. Magnolia. there you go all right thank you miss joan appreciate your bit of 30 again no chips Ooh, no seven and a half inches tall a seven inch diameter on that one let's go ahead and start the countdown for you 1980s fenton here we go 20 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, Ooh, 1, blossoms. and a bid end. Cherry blossoms would be pretty too. Got your just in case, Miss Joan. Thank you very much. I don't think you're going to need it, girl. You no. don't. Thank you, Miss Kim. At $30, Miss Joan, congratulations and thank you again, lady. It's coming to you. Thank you. It's beautiful. Beautiful. All right. I've got something a little blue, too. Oh, oh okay. Wait, no. Okay. I was like, does that have a chip on it? But it doesn't. I put my little greenery in there. But this is these are little Siamese cats in a little blue shoe. Again, faux Walmart, 97 cent greenery. Let me pull it out so we can show you everything. But I like the sculpt on this because you can see that cat right there. Like you can see his whole body. But look at these little cats. That one in the shoe is so happy. He has just, it looks like just a small little flea bite on the one in the middle on his little mouth right there. Right there. So, so cute. And this one's just like, hey, I'm waving. Um, I don't know this. I don't know who made this. I probably should have figured that out. But it does have a mold number on it right there. But very, very cute. No chips or cracks. Well, other than that little flea bite on that one in the middle, his little ear. But isn't this so precious? Okay, I'm going to start this at $16. If there's any interest in this. And, I mean, it's a little bit more shallow. Let's see if we can put pins and stuff in it, though. I mean, yeah, you could still use it for your pins and stuff. I thought it might have been a little bit more shallow for it, but it is a sculpt that goes all the way around. That is like glaze drips or paint drips, maybe. So it is a, a factory flaw, I guess, there. But I think that this is so cute. Oh, it's Lipper and Man. Thank you, William. It's lip. This is Lipper and Man. This is Lipper and Man, a little cat planter. I love Siamese cats, but they are very temperamental. They like to talk too, but they got beautiful blue eyes. They're so, so pretty. So, so pretty. Thank you guys. All right. $16 starting bid on the little uh, Lipper and Man cat planter. Emily, I see you're in at 16. It's really, really cute. You know, one thing that I am going to plant, this would have been a perfect thing for it too. I'm going to plant some catnip for Mr. Fluffer Pants. So this would be a great thing if you wanted to do some indoor catnip. You could plant it in your little kitty cat planter. That would be really, really cute. All right, Emily, and you're in at 16. I'm going to go ahead and start counting it down. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13. Really? 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 bid end. Now I know that bangle clap cats don't always purr unless they're really, really happy, but I didn't realize that I thought Siamese cats like talked a lot, like meowed a lot. They have like a very distinct kind of high pitched little meow kind of thing. We are Siamese if you please. Boom, boom, boom. Emily, I think it's coming to you, girl. It is. Thank you so much, Emily. It's coming to you for $16. Oops. There we go. Okay, now I know that this next piece is going to take a specific buyer. <laughs> hey, I sold a gator band. 
So <laughs> we'll, we'll see. Um, Scott Bell, that works. It's from 1971. Okay, 1971. It is, in fact, boys and girls. I the Fisher Price Play School House. Okay. Love. So again, 1971. Let's see if we can get. It's right there. Now there is with the lithograph. There is some discoloration. It's not perfect. Okay, but it still displays. The bell is up here. Okay, we've got you know the front with our clock on it, and then I mean, we rotate. Played with this when we were kids. I mean, come on now. The biggest area of condition is on this side, the roof. Y'all remember this is metal. It served as a magnet board. Yeah. Um, I have some of the letters and numbers uh, on there just to kind of show you that. But there is pitting to the magnet board from age. So I do want to let you know there is that. Now, is all we have to do is flip it open. Whoa. And it comes down and you've got your schoolroom in there. This does come with the trays of letters oh, wow. and numbers, okay? So that is where, now I don't have all of the capital letters. There's four capital letters that are missing. And then the second tray, you've got a number of different lowercase letters and uh, numbers, but you're oh. gonna get all of that. And of course, you're going to get, oh. you're gonna get the school room. Um, We'll go over it. I'm going to do the whole thing for $20 if anybody is interested. Oh, wow. Okay. The fact that the trays are still there is amazing. Yeah. Those are always missing. So you're going to get four students. Keep in mind, these are the wooden base little oh. people. So they're the OGs. Now, this little girl, somebody done cut her hair. All right. She did. Oh, somebody cut her hair. She's got personality. But she does come with her desk. Oh. Um, number two coming with her desk again, wood base missing an eye. <laughs> it's there, but you know, bless. Um, number three, my favorite. This girl just looks like she is trouble. Yeah, I mean, she looks like she got an attitude, like you just want to bam right upside the head. So, those are three students. Then we've got the fourth student. Again, these are all the wood bodies. So this is the like OG school set, 1971. He is giving us like Charlie Brown action. So you've got the four students. You do have, this is the teacher. She is a classic uh, little people's, but this is in fact the school room teacher. She comes with her chair and her uh, school teacher. Oh, desk. I love, remember the desk, the apple. Okay. We do have the swing. So three of your kids can go on there, one in the swing, and then two kind of like in this seesaw type swing. Oh, wow. Oh, I All love right. bright memories. You have the merry-go-round, the death. I mean, <laughs> how often, I mean, the stuff that we used to do on this thing, trying right. to kill each other, well, holding on to the sides, like standing up in the middle of it, like, and very few of us really did get hurt. Right. I mean, very few of us did get hurt on this thing, but you do have this. And then, of course, the interior of the classroom. Now, the lithograph, oh my God, the lithograph <laughs> does have a tear on the wooden floor. Here's the thing. I'm not really mad at it because it makes it look like a real wood floor. But there is some discoloration and there is a tear. Now, if you don't know this, you can, in fact, wait, like, there's that side. There's Abe and George. And then here is your chalkboard. Hi. Oh, I love it. You can look through. So I just think it's pretty awesome. I got super stoked about it. Um, I got it because there were other pieces in here that I wanted that I didn't have. Mm -hmm. And I was like, well, I really want those. I don't necessarily want this. So I'll tell you what, uh, let's call it Habsies. And we're just going to do the whole thing together. So you get the whole thing. Like I said, there are four capital letters that are missing, but you get the com 
almost complete. There would have been a dog. A dog does go with this. And the tray is a chalkboard. The tray is a chalkboard, yes. Yeah. Oh, so you get the whole so thing, y'all. I'm going to keep the kids on this. I think that's a safer, but you get the whole shebang. Let's go ahead and start. Love it. We'll count down for you. So here we go. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one and the bid ends. Yeah, that whole tray of goodness too. I had this, but I didn't have the trays, and I ended up selling it. The only one that I kept was the Sesame Street brownstone, and it is complete. I did keep that one. Oh, here it is. you have it, but are you sure it's complete? Yeah. Okay. I, I, I went on eBay and bought all of the pieces that were <laughs> there is our bid end. That thing is a little bit of a workout, not gonna lie. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for your bids. Really do appreciate it. Emmeline girl, you almost had it. But, oh, and Julie, thank you for sending me your contact information. I greatly appreciate that. So Michelle at 37, it is coming to you. Michelle, that's the first time you're purchasing from me. So yeah. make sure to send me out your contact information. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much. Yeah, I I love, and you know, I you know, Joanne, no, who was it that said Joanna? Oh yeah. Well, Michelle said that her she bought it for her grandkids. That's the thing. Like you, these older toys that we played with in our childhood, little kids are fascinated by them. And it's kind of fun because you can like have a story time. Like when I was little, I played with this exact same set and they respect it. It makes it special. So I love that. Okay. I have um, some Ross Bro. Will be, I have two of them. So I'm going to start them at $12 choice. I didn't, I, I didn't type that in, but $12 choice. They're exactly the same. They are the yellow. And I think I'm ha I have one in my vamp sale this afternoon as well. Um, Ross bro, the candy containers. These are really, really cute. There you go, Emily <laughs> bright side. Um, with a little air plant tucked in those as well. So it's a great little thing to add for your Easter displays. I always think that their faces look like, like they're going to come and get you when you're sleeping. They got little, a little haunting faces to them, but great little pieces. And they're just a little pop of color. Even if you're not like decorating with a bunch of, you know, like full out Easter, you just like have a little, a little few little bunnies to put out at the springtime and then it doesn't, you know, you're not overwhelmed with, you know, a, a ginormous amount of seasonal decorations like some of us are trying to downsize from. So I think that these are great. Great, great, great. All right. Nettie is in at 13. I'm going to start counting them down. This is for choice. So if you win, you can decide if you want one or both of them. Let's count them down. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bid, and I love these. And I love the baby rattles shaped like bunnies, and they just make me happy. They're just a nostalgic thing. All right, Bobby, Bobby's in a 15. You had just in case of 25, but you didn't need it. So, Bobby, would you like one? Would you like two? And if you pick one, then Nettie, you are back up. Also at 15, though, since they are exactly the same. They're not any different. So let me know, Bobby, if you want one or two. And I'll get you written down. And I think I've got one. I, I, I can't remember, but I think I've got one. And my vamp sale on Thursday has more Easter items in it as well. All right, Bobby wants them both. All right, Bobby, they're both coming to you for 15. Thank you so very much. Okay, my last item. I was shocked at the, that there was still kind of interest in this, so we're going to try it. Um, it is damaged, so I'm just going to go ahead and start it off at just a dollar. Yeah, we're going to start it at a dollar. We're going to let you guys decide what you want to pay for it. Um, I will say this. It still seems to be very structurally sound. It is absolutely, it's a gorgeous piece. 
but it is oh the blue that's opalescent um console bowl listen it is four and a half inches tall there is an eight and a half inch diameter on it now when i purchased this i got it at a, as an auction lot and there was a metal flower frog that had like the putty in here in the picture i couldn't tell i don't think that the auctioneer even realized it i got it out and i cleaned it and it was only then that i saw that there is in fact a crack right here can you see it so it is right here um i do still consider it structurally sound i will say that but it is there you see it here okay it is right there uh it does have a fluorescent undertone to it it helps us date it it's not again like something you would stick in your uv collection and it's just gonna like light up green it, it has just enough to pick up a green undertone so it does have some uranium in it but it's not uh uranium rich i guess so again it does have where is it at where is it at where is it at? oh my gosh the pattern is throwing me right here there is a crack in it but like i said so many of you loved the pattern and it was it's it really is still a beautiful piece and this is one of those things where i think at this point you could use it as the catch-all so you know you have the tape measure the pens the keys can go in here the pocket change can go in here and it's not something that you have to like you're like don't touch it it's antique i want it kept pristine it already has its condition issues so i say go ahead use it don't abuse it you can still keep it around for another hundred years with the proper chip but your bananas, your oranges, your apples. A hundred percent. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's got its condition issue, but it's still a functional piece. I still think it has a lot yeah. of life in it. I wanted to see what you guys thought. So that's why we started it at a dollar. Why not? Thank you guys for the bids. I'm glad that you all are still seeing that there is still some value and life to it. I'm gonna go ahead and start the countdown. Four and a half inches tall eight and a half inch diameter, let's do it. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, Ooh, yeah, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bid end. Yeah, I mean, and saving it. I mean, I I like that you that you saved it because a lot of people will be like, oh, that's not that's not any good, but it still has purpose. I would not. I could not bring myself to throw this out if nobody right. bid on it. I we would just keep it somewhere. Yep. I wouldn't have the heart. There's just yep. there's no way I would have the heart. Bye, the just in cases are coming in after the bid ad. I do appreciate you, Lady Tammy girl. Almost, I will keep my eye out for you. But <laughs> to Miss Joan. At 21, lady, congratulations and thank you. It is coming to you, Miss Joan. Now, you know, when you get this one, don't um, let this one definitely, ac yeah, this one needs to acclimate. I don't typically say that, but this one, she gonna need to acclimate. Yeah. Thank you. All right, last item. My, but don't forget, at five o'clock, come on over to virtualantiquemarketplace.com. I will be live for a blitz half an hour 15 second lot boom bada bing bada boom fast but my last item is this little someone said this is for i don't know if it's for nuts or for cheese but it's a grinder it's a grinder and it's got the little measuring cup i don't know if it's for nuts or for cheese maybe for cheese i don't know but it's a glass jar but it is one of dad's junk jars so i had opened up I'd opened up this jar or I did an unboxing where I just went, went through a bunch of things. The majority of the things that are in here are, and I kind of dumped them out. There are a lot of these military buttons. Somebody had sent me nuts. Okay. Thanks. Somebody sent me a message and said that you, if you on some of these military buttons, you can, you should always try to pop off this because sometimes there's notes like 
if you find this body, I don't know. I, I haven't done that. I tried just a few minutes ago on a few of them, but there's a lot of them in there. I'm going to go ahead and start this too. I'm going to start it at $18 and you're going to get everything, but there's a lot of these military buttons in here of all different sizes. They do say on the back. Uh, yeah. I don't know what it, I can't read it. Let's see if we can read it. Scoville Manufacturing Company, Winterbury. But the American Seal. And then we've got like, there's also some Boy Scout items in here as well. So we've got some metal little tie, you know, little scarf things in there. This is, that's Boy Scout. This is Boy Scout too. There's a couple Girl Scout things in here as well. This one is Boy Scout. Oops. Be, be prepared. That's what the Boy Scouts say. This one is Girl Scouts. This Girl Scouts insignia is a little bit more curved. And, and it has a G for girl. Girl Scout. And then we've got like, um, this is a track and field medal. The, from the Manistee County Fair. I don't know. That's in there. Here's another Boy Scout tie thing or Cub Scout or Bobcat or Bear. I don't know. Cub Scout, I think. I don't know what this one is, but this one's like a little, has a little bit of enameling on it. And then we've got another Boy Scout thing, but it's filled. It's filled. Oh, look, we got a smiley face button. That'll go in there. A couple of these like license plates. This one is uh, Indiana. And then we have a Kentucky one. Then we've got some like peacoat, like some navy peacoat buttons in here as well. This is some sort of a trade token, an Asian, like a trade token. That's like a heavy thing. This is a little advertisement piece from a shoe company. Stick that in there. Uh, Red Cross. Red Cross. This is, I don't know what this says. I had a hard time reading it. Dale Carnegie. Oh, this is it from a General Motors, the Jolters. That token in there. So it's just, that's another Girl Scout. But the majority of the things that are in here are all of these military buttons. That's another, that's a Boy Scout. 1957, that one is. So I'm going to just put them all in here. All of the buttons are military buttons. So they are all military. This one has guns on it. I don't know. So, oh, and there's also in here. Oh, that one's got guns on it too. And look at this. A little bitty lock. No key. A little bitty brass lock. But you'll get them all. Okay, we're going to put them in here and then we're going to count them down. Boop. Boop. It's full. And you get the jar. You get to crack your nuts in, in this jar. I mean, I'm assuming that it still works. I don't know. Purdy is in at 20. Let's count it down. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, ooh, it's 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bid, end. I don't know. I just thought, you know, crap, people do certain things with the buttons. And I, when I open, I'm like, what am I going to do with all this stuff? You can sell lots of military buttons on eBay as well. But I figured you guys watched me go through that box. And I thought it might, it's a little bit more special to sell it that way, I think. All right. Pam had a bit of 21. Purdy pansies had a just in case of 55. So Purdy coming to you for $22. Thank you so very much. Let me write your name down. Yay! Thank you guys so much. It's all, oh, this way. It's always so much fun. Tuesdays are always such a blast. We love being able to do these sales together. We love being able to hang out with you guys as well. So thank you guys again so, so very much for coming. Oh, am I freezing up? Roberta? Yeah. Ah! Yeah. Michael, am I okay now? No. I mean, we can hear you. Oh, there you go. Okay. So, 
Thank you for coming. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Michael has a sale tomorrow, 1 p.m. Eastern over on his channel. Yeah. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Culture of Vintage as well. That's his second channel. I have a sale at 5 o'clock today um, and then Thursday at 1 and then Friday at 1. So got a lot more sales. And Emmeline is having a vamp sale tomorrow. I think it's just at 12 or 1230. So make sure that you are a member of virtualantiquemarketplace.com. It's free. Lots of live sales going on, but there's also, you can shop 24 hours a day, seven days a week from the comfort of your own home on VAMP, supporting multiple, multiple antique vet, uh, sellers, antique convention sellers on there. Also tonight, 7.30 p.m. Eastern over on the Withering Cottage. Ariana is having a sale tonight as well. That's always a lot of fun. Thank you guys again so much. Thank you to Kim. Thank you to Karen. Thank you to Jay and Amy for popping in there and always being there to help us out. We really do appreciate you guys. And we will see you next Tuesday right here, 1 p.m. Eastern on my channel. All right. Thank you guys again so much. We'll see you later, guys. Bye, guys. Bye.